Are we live? From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania! It's Saturday night! What up? Oh, sorry, I'll mute if I eat these. Um, tonight we have peanut butter filled pretzel bites. What are y'all snacking on? Hmm? Ooh, and a side of crazy hair. Look at that. Whoa. Do you think I should let it grow out a little longer? Or do you think it just kind of looks like gross? Um, especially in the summertime when my hair gets hot, it'll get like kind of like curly almost. And I don't really like it. I call it spider web hair. But I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, hello. Hello, Tisha. Tiff, how are you today? Genetically modified. Hey, hey. Pizza bites for the win. You know what? I got I got a bulk thing of pizza bites from Sam's Club maybe two months ago. They weren't very good. I don't know if it was just a bad batch or what, but yeah, no. Uh-uh. No. You ever going to play World of Warcraft? Yeah. Usually we do that on Tuesdays. Hi, Michael. Hi, Summer. That's a pretty name. Vote for summer. Because with summer, you're, no, what did it go? A vote for summer is a summer all year round. We're going to put two new pop machines in the cafeteria. Who wants to be eating chimichangas every day? <laughs> God, I haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite in forever. Forever. You know how when like you watch it as a kid and then you grow up and you watch old stuff and it's like, huh, that would have went over my head at age ten. I should really watch it to see what I missed. Although, I don't know if there's much to be missed from Napoleon Dynamite. I mean it's a pretty stupid movie. But we like stupid. That's that's the thing. We like stupid. We embrace stupid around here. <laughs> Clearly, clearly. <laughs> okay, so tonight, I want to laugh. I want to laugh. <sighs> Who sings that? I want to rock. Twisted Sister. 1984. Oh, boy. I was just getting born on the album Stay Hungry. I want to rock, rock. God, rock stars back then dressed so cool, you know? Like, look, look at this. Look how cool they dressed. Isn't this cool? Like, today, like, what do, you, what do we people even wear? It's like, you know what? You need to make a statement. You need to do something memorable. This, this is memorable. I mean, it's like clearly someone made these outfits, you know? It's cool. It's cool. God, when did things go to shit? <sighs> lordy, lordy, lordy. But anyway, I'm in the mood to laugh. I'm in the mood to giggle. Etc. So we're gonna watch, I think, Old Rages or something. Um, I mean, as you guys know, Foodie's new stuff is just so abysmal. I mean, I try. Canadian celebrates Kuwait National Day. Well, you know what? I will say, I do kind of, well, I don't like them necessarily. I can tolerate the videos where she actually goes out and does stuff, but if it's just her sitting in front of a shit, like a plate of shit, like I, I can't. I can't. But um, we we could try this in terms of like doing a, a recent update. Grocery haul. Shepherd's pie. Did we watch the shepherd's pie one before? I don't know. Okay. 
All right. You all want to do this? You all want to do, uh, what's it called? Oh, where did my tab go? Oh, hell. Oh, there it is. Yes. Hey, girl. Hey, queen. Hi, bubbly. Hi, Sandra. Or Sandra. Is it Sandra or Sandra? I guess we'll never know. Unless you clarify. I'm making shepherd's pie tonight. Ooh. Age-restricted pantyhose. Y'all kill me with these usernames. Kill me. Kill me. Where's Jordy's Endless Slushy? We haven't seen Jordy's Endless Slushy in a while. Or maybe we have. <laughs> I enjoyed the camel kicking her. <laughs> the nude live and video were absolute. Uh, th this one was bad. I haven't watched anything since we did it last. You're playing World of Warcraft. Ooh, fun. Hi, Cake. Oh, there's Jory's Endless Slushy. Oh, my God. Wait, are you a different Jordy's Endless Slushy? I thought that the Jordy's Endless Slushy I was thinking of was a member, but your name doesn't come up in green. Not that that's a bad thing. I just thought that it was something else. Are you on all chat? I'm on live chat. So, yeah, all chat. There is no all chat. It's, it's live chat, top chat, or... Uh, Super chat. All right. Well, let's get this party started. Um, I'm not sure how long we'll watch this. If it's incredibly boring, we'll move on to something else. Usually with Chantal, you need to go back a couple years to find anything palatable. But um, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. We'll see what's going on. Are you looking forward to Universal's new opening? Um, I wasn't aware that they were opening something. Nintendo World. Oh, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. I, I love Mario. I love uh, Nintendo stuff. Um, they, I think that they only currently have that in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. So that'd be nice if they put a, a Nintendo World in Orlando. I would definitely visit. I really want to go back to Universal Studios just to ride Velocicoaster. Ugh, y'all. If you go to Universal Studios... Ride Velocicoaster. It's probably the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Have you had shaved ice? Slushies are the peasants of shaved ice. Yeah, I've had shaved ice. I don't see why it needs to be a competition. <laughs> Let's do this. Green eyeshadow, happier than ever. Hello, so in celebration of National Day here in Kuwait, I did my makeup with the Kuwait flag colors. <laughs> yeah, Allah. Mm. Hi, welcome back to another video. Well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private- This is like a badly scripted reading rainbow. Y'all remember reading rainbow? Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Like this woman on the screen with this exact angle. I want that song to play in your head. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Oh, God. I love it. I love it. I'm hungry now. I I have some leftovers I might eat after the stream, but for now I'm just doing pretzels with peanut butter. The spoon was the size of a shovel. <laughs> Delay. Hello there. So I'm starting my day with a chicken shawarma on saj bread. Yum.
we were driving by these amazing Kuwaiti villas and I just wanted to show you how beautiful the architecture is and the mosques, of course. My Kuwait Of eyeshadow. course. Kuwait eyeshadow. We also drove by South Subahia Park, which is a new amusement park that was just constructed. Y'all ever see the episode of Thousand Pound Sisters where they rented out the theme park for them and the family and it was just like the six of them? <laughs> that was a fun little episode. Interesting eyeshadow application. She's trying to be quirky. She's matching the Kuwait flag. She has such pride in her country that she's a tourist in. Let the music make you feel like everything is happy. Happy, happy, happy. Everything is good. Everything is perfect. We're happy. We are living life to the fullest. Just Jamie. Hey there. Last foodie stream, I meant we don't need to use her religion to criticize because she is so problematic outside of that. She wants us to go after Islam so she can use it as a shield. Oh, absolutely. I 100% agree with you just, Jamie. I think that she is trying to use it as a shield. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, very much so trying to put little traps and little things for reaction channels in the community to walk across th th so that she can go, ah, bah, ah, bah, 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 bah. look, you're, you're the villain. You're the bad guy. It's 100% being used as a shield. Um, Wade Bowen fan. Really appreciate that. Is it bad? I don't know who Wade Bowen is. Should I know this? I should probably know this. Wade Bowen. Okay. He looks like a husky country singer. Am I right? Is he a husky country singer? Paul Wade Bowen is an American Texas country singer from... Yeah, okay, yep, I was right. wonder if I recognize any of his songs. Well, regardless, a fan of his has sent in a super chat, and I am very appreciative. Jordy, did you see that in one of Foodie's last live streams, she gave us a shout out to Jordy, Priscilla, and Jeffrey because someone requested it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Shout out to Jordy, Priscilla, and Jeffrey. <laughs> Nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> Me, a stuffed animal, and Jeffrey Star. <laughs> I love that. If you, uh, if you, I mean, her live streams are like hours long. So if you know the timestamp, I'd definitely be happy to pull it up here. Really appreciate that, Wade Bowen fan. Okay, the copyright free music is becoming excessive. Are we going to do anything? Are we going to say anything? Are we just going to continue to play copyright free music? Oh, okay. A wild Chantal appears. We're here on Kuwait National Day, and we're here in the Amity Park area, and there's tons of nice lights to celebrate the occasion, as you can see. So we're just out touring, seeing all the different sites. And most importantly, happy 63rd National Day, Kuwait. Yellow, let's go. The way they decorate for a national day is reminiscent to all the lights around Christmas time in Canada. So it reminds me of. <laughs> there are crowds of people everywhere in different areas of Kuwait, mostly Kuwait City. So we're going to avoid that because it's going to be hours in traffic. Even here, we've been a long time in traffic already. So. <laughs> Kuwait celebrates two holidays this weekend, National Day, February 25th, and Liberation Day, February 26th. She's dragging one of her legs. 
I did notice that in another one. She does drag one of her legs like a zombie. Walking Dead Season 8? Hmm? Hmm? Six. In 1961, Kuwait became independent of all rule, making today's National Day the 63rd being celebrated. Sheikh Abdullah Al Salim Al Sabah played a vital role in Kuwait's independence and became emperor. The Al Sabah family still rules today. Liberation Day, February 26, commemorates the day Kuwait was freed from Iraqi forces during the Gulf War. So for any newcomers, welcome. I'm Canadian citizen and I've been residing in Kuwait for about a year now with my husband and I love this country so much. So I'm happy to celebrate today. It's such a peaceful. She really walks around with a bomb bomb sound effect. Now, y'all know that I'm not a big fan of superficial comments. I don't like to come on here and point things out about people's weight or the way they look or the way they dress or how bad their makeup is, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But if I were that person, if I were to be a reaction channel commentator that made superficial comments in this scenario right now, I would say, I would love if someone followed Chantal around, maybe walking two or three steps behind her and played the trombone. You know, just like quick little notes. So that's what I would say if I was a nasty son of a bitch like that, but I'm not. So let's keep the commentary on track country and I love hearing the Adan playing on the streets as a Muslim revert and I love the beaches, the malls, the people are awesome, the food is amazing. <laughs> As you can see here, it's a straight traffic jam back to back on the seaside road that leads to the Alcoot area because there's going to be fireworks in about an hour and a half. So it's traffic jams all over, like I said, nonstop traffic. <laughs> nonstop beeping as well. <laughs> <laughs> Standstill traffic, bumper to bumper, and someone's just laying on the horn. <laughs> I love that person. <laughs> hey, Danielle, how are you tonight? Um, Jordy's Endless Slushy. Hey, thank you for so much for becoming a member. Renewed my membership just for you. <gasps> I'm honored. Thank you so much, Jordy's Endless Slushy. I will take a little sippy sip in your honor but you just say she walked like a zombie what are you talking about when did i ever say chantal walks like a zombie you must be confusing me with another reaction channel The moon overlooking the Gulf Sea is beautiful tonight. Moon in Arabic is Amar. This vehicle is sporting a Qatar flag. We have some viewers from Qatar, so this is your shout out. Hello guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a very special video and mukbang. Um, today I'm going to be eating some- Y'all, I think we've been catfished. The reason why I clicked on this video is because she went out and walked around and did shit. I didn't want to watch a video of her sitting in front of a table putting shit in her mouth. I didn't want to watch one of those videos. That's that's all she does. That's like 90% of the content. Every once in a while, maybe like once every three weeks, she'll put up a video where she walks around. This was just, th this was, we got catfished.
We got catfished with an F at the beginning. Best Saturday ever. Hello, Madeline. She didn't get the fireworks. I love fireworks. Um, I really like Roman candles. Y'all know Roman candles? Those things that you like hold diagonally like up into the air and then they shoot out one by one. Those are fun. Um... Y'all, I'm telling you what, I, I don't know if I can do the whole, like, sit and watch or eat thing. I can't do the suction noises tonight. I can't do the jaw clicking. The jaw clicking is the most egregious. Um, like, of the seven deadly sins of Chantal, jaw clicking is number one for me. Jordy, are you double streaming again? No. This is YouTube. We might do Twitch later tonight. We've been bamboozled. I know. I know. Ugh. So, you know what? I'm just, normally I would say like, oh, do you guys want to watch it? Do you want to give it the benefit of the doubt? Fuck this. Let's move on to something else. Let's go to old stuff. I want to watch her yell. I want to watch her scream. I want to watch her be funny. I want to laugh tonight. I want to feel something. You know? I want to feel it in my bones. Because we all have those. Deleted live stream of her getting caught messaging Natter. Foodie Beauty breaks down after ending it with Dom over the phone. <laughs> Crying in pinky rage. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the one where she cries in the car. That one is a little bit... Eh. Pumped up kicks. Chantal rage drives over to Dom's to return clean and folded laundry. There is this one video... I think I ha I still have it in my saved videos on Twitter from like two years ago <laughs> of Chantal driving home from Natter's house one time. The car is like swerving in and out of lanes. The camera's shaking and she's crying filming the road. Chantal's deleted huge rage against members and reactors. All right, let's do this one. All right, so this is courtesy of a channel called Barbecue Chicken. <clears throat> Maybe I'll remember to put their channel in the description below after this live stream is over. Realistically, will I remember to do that? Probably not. But I will make an effort to try to remember. And that's all you can really do in life, right? Is try your best. As long as you try your best, no one can fault you for it. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Where is my tab? Step away from my chicken selects. Genetically modified pantyhose. Thank you so much. Shout out. Uh, 5.30 into the live called I Need a Good Laugh. Okay, we can do that real quick. We can definitely do that real quick. Uh, foodie Beauty. Oh, wait, she's not even Foodie Beauty anymore. Jesus. What, what is she called now? Everyday Mermaid. Mer Mariam. Live. I need a good laugh. F you said 5.30? Five. All right, so apparently Jeffrey, Jordy, and Priscilla Pretzley get a shout out right here. Let's check it out. I'm a bit sore after. Zoom meeting? Oh, I can imagine. She's good, Richard. Thank you. She's just resting from beezing all night. The heat is bad. We might travel. Hi, Stink, Jordy. Genetically modified. Shout out to your friends Jordy 
Priscilla and Jeff, sorry, Jordy, Priscilla and Jeffrey. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh. Mary Kirkland, it's like, I'm going to stay up for Fajr and then I'm going to go. <laughs> You're friends. We're friends. I would say we're friends. You know, we hang out. We chat. We beat the shit out of each other and give each other lip gloss. We're friends. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Oh, 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 oh. The same purpose. I always run over that fucking car. Okay, we need, I need to eat. Yeah, I know. They gave me a plate this time. Royal China. No, kidding. Royal Chinette. And then I have a special gift from some Beezer. Special. Yeah, why was I called Stink Jordy? The the username was Stink Jordy. I don't stink. Look, I, I have Armani cologne right here. Armani cologne. And I showered Wednesday. Stink Jordy. Beezer. And I'll open it here. No sweetest angels of the nth degree. No. <laughs> Why am I even going to put it on a plate? I'm not going to do that. That would be too civilized. Is this a hint to a new man? Lots of Indian food lately. Mm? Yeah, maybe I'm dating. I got a wonderful gift from Tiff. I'm going to open it after I eat. No, there's no engagement. Piss and vinegar. <laughs> you guys are serious? I know you guys have a lot of questions and you're freaking out. Like, where were you? Like, that's not kidding. So, there may be times where I just need some extra privacy. So, I'm just gonna. You know what I mean? What are you guys talking about? Anniversary. I was like so confused. I, I didn't even know that. I was like, what? <laughs> I met him like one year ago. Apparently, that's what people are saying, right? Like, when I met him. And some shit I just need privacy with right now. So I appreciate that. Um, I know it's hard. But what's best for me right now, honestly, no, oh, there won't be any wedding, L. <laughs> because it wouldn't be, sin like, it wouldn't, I want to do like a formal apology video. I don't want to just do it when I'm eating butter chicken. And I know people are not going to believe my apology and not think it's sincere, but I, I realized, because that's why I was like, why bother? And then I was like, why bother? Because I still have to be held accountable for what I say when I'm drunk and because I was because the apology is not just for is not for the people who don't believe me, it's for myself and fucking to grow as a person because it's like my conscience like just it's like irritating me, you know? But I can't bring myself to watch it, so I don't I have heard enough of what I've said. I've seen clips. You've been missing a dress up. I told you guys. I needed some time away. Jack, and I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not trying to lie to you guys. I'm not trying to deflect from anything. I'm just just needed some time offline, and I appreciate it. No pink pony club. I was not with Matter. <laughs> Hi, Curly. What is? Oh my. And olives. Oh. No. It's not gonna stop it, Florida. Shit. Just come right out and admit you fucking using me for views. Because this whole shit where you're like, oh, and, and the Koki, yeah, that's, you, you know what? That's shaming, that is bullying, and you are going down every, I'm so, okay, I'm going to be offline for a few days. I'm going to be striking the fuck out of her. I am so <laughs> I'm going to take a few days off, and uh, yeah, on my little mini staycation, I'm going to be striking the fuck out of her. <laughs> people who abuse youtube striking system oh it's so annoying i don't like you 
and I don't like what you say about me. So I'm going to file a copyright claim against your content. Oh my god. Chantal in court. Oh god. Is she talking about FFG? Probably. How old is this? I want to say this was about maybe like two-ish years ago. What's with the pirate bandana? I would say walk the plank, but I don't know if we can. So sick and tired of the fucking shaming of the bullshit. Like, that's not a reaction channel. That's just pure bullying. I'm sorry. She's a piece of shit. Her and fucking other people that are pieces of shit are going down. How am I a bully? How am I a bully? How am I a bully? Do I sit here and fucking talk shit about people every day? No, I don't. Drugs are shameful, but addicts, addiction is a fucking nasty disease. So fuck off. If you're here to addiction shame, I will block you. Who else wants to be blocked? Okay, let's block people. Bye, placenta. Fuck you. Who else? Irish, goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to do that one time on here. <laughs> I'm going to get on here. I'm going to be really pissed off. I'll have the live chat up and everything. And I'll go, which one of you bitches wants blocked? Come on. Come on. Tell me in the chat. Who wants blocked right now? <laughs> the whole chat fl floods with me, me, me. <laughs> How my bully continues to talk about people. <laughs> Her and Jeffrey with the block button. The thing that gets me about Jeffrey is he's so pro-free speech, right? <laughs> pro-free speech until it's something that he doesn't like. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. See ya. And I'm not unblocking for fucking real. Hi, Just Beezin. These people are fucking stupid. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Hold on, who else? I think someone's here. Who? It's me. Ta da! And I have my morning cup. V victims, cause she. I'm just gonna talk directly to someone at YouTube and be like, "There's people who fucking ride my ass every time I go fucking live. They're fucking desperate to keep their rent at the Motel Six, and they fucking snipe my shit. Bitch, don't snipe my fucking content, or I'm gonna take your shit down. You don't." Fucking believe me, you are gonna believe me. You wait, you wait. I've had enough, I'm done. I'm fucking done with this shit. Done. You've stream sniped me the, oh, no, maybe not the last time, but don't worry. Don't you worry, it's coming, bitch, it's coming. Zoom. This fucking bitch pretends to be an advocate for fucking DV victims, cause she was one. Well, you know what? You're a piece of shit, cause all you do is shame people and call people cokey. Cokey, cokey, you really contribute so much to the internet. Fuck you. You're going down, bitch. <laughs> the editing on this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What does somebody calling him a name have to do with her not being an advocate for DV victims. I don't, I don't know how that makes sense. Homegirl's pissed. <laughs> oh, good lord. Age-restricted pantyhose. We are so happy to have you as a member. Welcome, welcome. Rewind. Oh, I know. I want to watch him fall off the chair again. Fuck you. You're going down, bitch. Yeah, don't worry. I've had enough. I don't care if she doesn't call me Cokie. I don't care. <laughs> I was addicted to Coke in the summer and she was calling me Cokie. And actually, I have a lot of clips of her being a hateful piece of shit. So yeah. Oh, they were calling her Cokie. Oh. Well, is it bullying if it's true? That's That's the thing. Is it bullying? 
if it's true? Or is it just insensitive or inappropriate? Welcome home, Dev! Yes. So, yes. Oh, okay, Kelani, goodbye. Anyone who supports her, put a one in the chat right now. I'll block you. Goodbye. I'm gonna go, I should go fucking strike her right now. No, I'm not putting her on the fucking TV. Giving her attention she wants. It is my fucking content she's stealing. Of course it is. I pay her rent at the Motel 6. You think anyone would listen to her fucking rubber band mouth if she wasn't spewing hate shit about me or Natter? Get the fuck over, get the fuck out of our fucking past relationship. Why are you so fucking obsessed? <laughs> the look on her face. What does that mean? Rubber band mouth. Rubber band mouth. Oh god, stuff for braces is coming up. How orthodontic elastic bands work. No. Rubber band mouth insult. Let's see if something comes up. No, nothing came up for that either. Have you guys ever heard that before? Like, used as an insult. Um, your rubber band mouth. I don't know. It's like she went to an insult page and clicked randomize, and that's what came up. Look up slang. I really don't even think it's slang. Because I, I have never heard that before, and no one in the chat is saying that they've heard it either. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, Caitlin. Thank you. She's talking about her lack of lips. I think it means thin lips. Oh, okay. I, I had to think about that one for a second. Paul's lips? No, that would be the opposite. Because if you're saying thin lips, like... Rubber band mouth. Okay. Unique things to call someone you hate. <laughs> when do I bully people? When have I ever bullied someone? Show me. Tell me. <laughs> Rubber band mouth. <laughs> Who, who thinks of that? She's making stuff up. I know, we had to, like, theory craft and put pieces of the puzzle together to figure out what that meant. I mean, I guess that's what she meant, but... <laughs> it's not her lips, it's the way she speaks, as if she has rubber bands in her mouth. Oh. So you think it, it has to do with, like... Like how teenagers usually have braces with the rubber bands and they can't pronounce certain words. I don't know. This is a mystery. Big Turks and Quick Turk Twerk. Oh, God. Big Turks and Quick Twerks. Ooh, say that five times fast. Thank you so much for becoming a shorty. We are so happy to have you as a member on the channel. Welcome, Big Turks and Quick Twerks. Why don't you keep your rubber band mouth shut? <laughs> I would like to walk up to someone in the grocery store tomorrow. Someone that's just kind of standing innocuously, minding their own business. I want to get in their face. I want to say, hi, how about you keep my name out of your rubber band mouth and then walk away. Why is this pumpkin screaming? You're disgusting. Get a life. Jesus Christ. Get an effing life. Seriously. She's... 
The only reason anyone goes there, oh, I have 3,000 views. Yeah, because people talk shit about me. You think anyone would care what you're saying? You think anyone would care? Really? No one cares! Nothing. You're a nobody. You're a nobody. Live with that every day. And all I have to do is really take a time out of my no life. No life, but I don't even have time. You're a nobody. <gasps> what if Chantal called you a nobody? How would that make you feel? What if she got in your face and called you a nobody? <laughs> oh my god. Bath and Body has a sale on lotions for six bucks right now. <gasps> I actually wouldn't mind some more lotion. Where did I put it? I, I still, I'm still using my Chasing Fireflies. I still have my hand cream. I wouldn't mind lo another little thing of hand cream. I don't know what flavor I'm going to get next. You're a nobody. Rubber band mouth. Time to go on to your channel and strike you for fucking being a piece of shit and harassing me. And it's you, you cause harassment. Your channel's like you cause harassment for creators. You know why? And I'm gonna argue with that. I'm gonna write a friggin' case to YouTube. Don't you worry. She does call both of us crackheads. And what do you think you look like living in a Motel 6 downtown ghetto Montreal? You don't think you look like a friggin' bigger crack? I'm sorry. But n anyways, Crackhead alone, I hate that word. I hate crackhead, cokey. Like, a, what I went through in the summer, just like, I did feel like a piece of shit for being on coke. And I was having, and like, why? Really? Like, you're like, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. But when you did lose your channel, she followed you to all other platforms. Exactly. She's full of shit. She'll move on to the next. How about you? These people who react to us are even worse. Like, how are they? How are you? Okay, that part's true. That part's actually true. If everything else is nonsense and bullying, if she said one true thing in this video, I am worse. I am way worse. That part. That part. Booger sugar? She's talking about herself. This is old content, right? No, this was this afternoon. Yes, it's old content. <laughs> Lost Squirrel, hello. The hubby is watching for the first time. Could you say hi to Brillo? Brillo, hello there. What a unique name. I've never met a Brillo before. Mm. Mm. If I knew a Brillo in real life, I would probably somehow end up calling him Armadillo. I don't know if he would like that, but that's probably what I would go for. But I'm only playful around people I like. So, hello to you, Brillo. Reacting to a reaction. Yes. Uh, not right now, Pantyhose Factory. Maybe on Twitch later. Are you not the biggest hypocrite loser of all time? What is your, your legacy going to be? Oh, I made fun of Chantel and Natter for my whole YouTube career. And I brought some really interesting talking points. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You really contributed great. Oh, so what? At least this is my own content. <clears throat> you guys are gonna, that's the thing. That's why I didn't want to, fuck. I don't want to apologize specifically for these people who are just waiting to use what the Cuba thing over and over and over. Yeah, well, this person did this as if people don't fuck up and as if people don't have an ugly side and a good side. I'm sorry, but I'm not letting Cuba define me. As if everyone doesn't go on racist tirades once in a while. I mean, you all act like you're perfect. <laughs> I would love to watch Cuba Rage on here. I really would. But it's very um, colorful. The language is very colorful. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really understand why a YouTube channel needs to make for a legacy. Um, I think we're all just on here having a good time. I don't think that anyone is trying to forge a path that's going to last and uh, you know, be told generations from now. 
I think we're just kind of giggling and being stupid. Legacy. <laughs> no, I think my hair's just sticking up Chantal's napkin. It's about the same. Hannah Lee! Hello, Hannah Lee. Uh, I got here. Who's she talking about? Um, this is her screaming at her arch nemesis, FFG. CPAP Rescue. I would watch that one. I don't think that that one is too um, colorful. I'm not letting that rage define me as a person. I will take ownership and I will apologize for it when I've properly processed it, when I'm fucking ready. Not when you're ready, when I am. Okay? So I guess you're getting what you wanted, a rage. <clears throat> a lot of them talk from a big... Lost your channel. Well, here it is. That didn't age well, did it? I'm not going to calm down. I've had enough shit, Willie. Don't tell me what to do. I haven't had actually time to, you know, taken the time to actually like contact YouTube and be like, like, especially the fucking stream. It's not fair use. Goodbye. I don't even care if it is fair use. If they're like the <laughs> commentary, they're spew. I don't care if they're abiding by the law. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not fair use. Okay. Even if it is, I don't care. <laughs> uh... Nick Akata is bigger, but he doesn't have as many reaction channels. That's because Nick Akata is a troll. She's, like, this right now, she's not trolling. I mean, some of the stuff that Chantal does on her channel is trolling and is done on purpose, but a lot of her content is, like, her raw personality. And that's what people like to react to. Reacting to Nick Okada is a lot more difficult is because it's performative of what he does. So you just kind of look silly trying to provide commentary or a reaction to a skit. Uh... Chantal's prison bandana she's up here playing prison mike was your name germ germ x retrograde germ x retrograde <laughs> doing is bullshit i'm sorry it should be against the rules to have an entire channel about someone else, and as soon as that person goes live, they stream snipe and bully you. Fuck you, and fuck that, and fuck YouTube if they if they condone that. And I'm going to make a fucking stink about it. Trust me, it's a long time coming. Four years. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll take it to the news. Actually, yeah, because it's a problem. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Her small little town in Canada. I'm taking it to the news. <laughs> it's gonna be all over the papers here. They're gonna put up flyers. <laughs> the world will know about this. <laughs> it's a problem no he's a piece of shit too Monty he is sorry he's a bigger piece of shit and he's going down too she constantly has a spliff because she's a hypocrite trying to make view money that's all she is she's a hypocrite and people eat it up just because she's hateful like if you are entertained by that you should think about your own mental health fuck it's disgusting like I don't know Ooh, okay so that applies to y'all. Usually she comes for the reaction channels, but every so often she'll come for the community as well. So if you are entertained by this video or you have any slight interest in watching this woman scream in her kitchen, there's probably something wrong with you, according to Miss Soro here. So, uh, I don't know. Should we all get our heads checked collectively? Hmm? Hmm? Any psychiatrists in the chat? Want to do some pro bono work from, for Girl World? Pixar villain. <laughs> oh, good lord. Just Jamie! Appreciate that. Uh, when Foodie can't come up with a good argument, she goes after appearances. She's talking about FFG's thin lips. 
yeah, that, that just went completely over my head. Rubber band lips. Rubber, no, 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 rubber band mouth. Rubber band mouth. I'm going to say that to one of my girlfriends and I'm going to see how they take it. I'm just like, I'm going to say it out of nowhere and see if they like, I had imagined the response is going to be what, but maybe they'll grab their lips and be like, are you, oh my God, are they really thin? I'm excited. I'm excited. Germ. Oh, it says gem. Sorry. Get a life. Ugh. Hate is a lucrative business. Isn't that fucking sad? How do people live like that? Like, how would you serve? How do you even like come online every day and like just shit on someone all every day? Like, do you not? You sound like you're like, fucking full of hot air. Like, uh, it's like beating. It has to be beating the dead horse at this point. Like, I don't know. I don't know how people listen to that shit. It's not that deep. Like, people overanalyze stuff I do. But, like. Like, um, someone was analyzing, I put a title, uh, what was the title? I don't even know, who gives a shit, but it's just, like, it's so over the top sometimes, you know what I mean? I know gossip is human nature, but, like, God. I'm protect- like, this is my fucking job, and, like, people steal my shit as soon as I come online? No, sorry. Okay, I'm getting off, goodbye. So she went to go hang out with him after all that. I'll apologize when I'm ready. I'm still processing everything. You all need to get off my back. A knock at the door. All right. I'm I'm uh, I'm getting out of here. Just because the internet's too much for me right now. Not because there's someone at my door. Three-way with Natter. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I don't care if I get in trouble for seeing him. I don't care if I get in trouble. I don't. And BB told me, you're going to one day be in that in Didi's fucking bed with them. <laughs> what are doing? Why am I in a hotel room in Cuba crying about a fucking bum? She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. I need to go get a Wi-Fi pass. I don't want to go down the fucking counter again. I hate that counter. Ugh. You gotta bribe everyone around here to be nice to you. <laughs> oh fuck! I need my sunglasses. This is my view. Look at this shit. This is fucked. Look at this ocean. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like close. Oh, people are in love. Look at that. So I just leave my thing and I go down this thing ramp. <gasps> oh, the beach. I'm going to go at dusk. I'm going to go when the sun's going down because I'm not stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not stupid at all. She probably wants to go at dusk because there are less people out and it's cooler. So she goes out when it's hot. There's a higher likelihood she'll get sweaty and all flustered. Slightly sped up is wild. I don't have it sped up. It's on normal. <laughs> the almost nip slip was actually traumatizing. Oh, she's had tons of slips in the past. Tons. The Natter era was epic. You know, and I wasn't really that immersed in Shantopolis during the Natter era. That's like kind of a regret I have. I mean, during the Natter era, that's kind of like when I was just starting my reaction channel. And I kind of got my foundation here on YouTube off of Amber Lynn. Um... I sometimes saw, well, I mean, I sometimes, you know, I got, I, I first started watching Karina Kaboom 
That's how I kind of got my entrance into the reaction channel world. And then she would make videos about Foodie Beauty, and I'd just be like, oh, my God, I don't care about this bitch. Upload videos about Amber Lynn. And then when I kind of put my toe in and I started to actually give it a chance, I was like, wow, this is chaotic. So I wish that I was more immersed during the actual time she was with Natter than in retrospect like this. I mean, I still watch the videos here and there, but that's a big slip. I know, it's like I was completely immersed in the most boring season of Amber Lynn when I could have been doing this. This would have been way more fun. But hey. But hey. Please watch CPAP Rescue. Okay, we can pull that up after this. Um, EM, really appreciate that. It's my first live. I blame you, Jordy. Came to your channel for Eugenia, and nine months later, I am completely invested in Girl World. <laughs> I even got a Twitter account, LMAO, but thank you. I love it here. You are awesome and funny. Oh my gosh, that is hysterical, EM. You have trickled on into Girl World after seeing the Eugenia content. Very different, but at the same time, not really. I know it's both ends of the spectrum in regards to those creators, but a lot of the same behaviors. A lot of the same behaviors. Um... It's an interesting little corner of YouTube. Very interesting. But we have a lot of fun here. Thank you so much for that, EM. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, God. I just... I almost had a breakdown earlier. I was sitting. Like, I was... Okay, so here's my, my trip so far. You want to hear the whole story? I'm traveling alone, but I don't feel really alone. Because, like, every time you go somewhere, people talk to you. Like, uh, people on the trip with you. Like, on the plane or whatever. But... So, anyway, my trip was with, like, Sunwing, which is, like, a charter flight. I should have looked more into this because their planes are fucking tiny. <laughs> like, oh, my God. So, I get to the airport at 6. I get there early. And it took me, like, I, we, I, I, like, the whole time I needed that three hours to, like, get everything in order, go through security. Oh, my God, security. Everything was okay. And then they had to dissect my CPAP. And then they had to re-x-ray it and all this other shit. And then you have a four-hour plane ride. I'm sitting beside this guy who's from Gatineau, this French guy. And like, I had a seatbelt extender, which I wasn't embarrassed about, but I thought that my seatbelt extender took, there's three seats on the plane. I thought my seatbelt extender took, like there was only two of us sitting there. So like he could have had his wife who was separated from him come and like sit with him. But I thought I was taking up the other seatbelt. So I was like, I don't think you can. And like all the, all the whole time, the extra seatbelt was just under my fat ass. And he could have, <laughs> he's like, it's okay. He was so nice. Anyway, the turbulence made me almost throw the fuck up. Actually, the landing made me almost throw up. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be sick. I didn't go to the bathroom the whole time. I didn't eat. I didn't drink. So I didn't go to the bathroom. It was hard because they were serving food and I really wanted something. Um, but I'm like, no, the bathroom is fucking tiny. Like, and it smells. We get here. Uh, no, sorry. We get on a bus because it was so hot. The airport here does not, ha does not have air conditioning. So I'm done. I don't think I have the right charger. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God. How can I not have a right charger? Like, what am I gonna do without a charger? No, they won't. They don't even speak English. I had to, like, sign language to fucking change money. I'm sorry, it's just a long day. Because I checked online and, like, apparently it was supposed to have, like, the outlets, like, the normal outlet. KB, welcome to the airport. Music. Ready, set, bees. Hi. I'm, I'm not arm wiggling you guys right now. I'm too fucking tired. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm spilling tea internationally because I can't enjoy my fucking vacation until it makes sense. I need to like tell you what happened so you can tell me if I'm, I'm in the wrong here. I need to know if I'm in the wrong because I'm, I'm being told that I'm in the wrong here. So let me tell you about the situation that happened this weekend, okay? And then you can tell me who's wrong. You tell me your side of the story. You tell me what you think, okay? Yeah, and I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care if we both go to jail at this point. I'm so fucking, I'm so out of my mind. I don't care. So how about this? All right. So, um, so yeah, I knew he was moving or whatever. And like being away from him for a while was actually, I was doing great. And then, what happens with me with him is that like if i see him again or like any kind of contact like it's like ripping off a scab for me you know and he doesn't understand that because he doesn't have feelings the same like that's obvious i just confirm that so whatever anyways okay no i can't breathe because i just don't i don't want to deal with this shit anymore like 
he he fucking torments me behind the scenes and you don't see any of it and him and diddy go online and they act fucking normal and make me look crazy that's what fucking happens every time every time i trust him again he fucks me over again anyways so you know what you fucked me over the last time i'm gonna fuck you over now okay how about that so yeah you deserve it you need to be held accountable you never take accountability for anything you fucking do I'm, so i was in contact with dd because we're, i'm allowed to talk to natter so I was talking to fucking dd as a fucking mediator you know why because natter can't have a friggin when the side hoe has to talk to the main hoe to get to the piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk to the piece of shit, so I have to talk to Dee Dee. <laughs> I can't figure out what her tattoo is. I think it's actually two women kissing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, I'm not going to insult him because I don't want to make it. I don't, I don't want to get reported. I'm telling what happened and I'm allowed to tell what happened. So I'm not insulting anybody. I'm telling what happened. So what happened was um, I wanted my grandma's blanket back. Like I want, like I just said basically, like I knew he was moving and he doesn't have any care for like people's things. Um, so he would just probably throw out my stuff or I don't know what he would do with my stuff. Like he didn't even bother to even ask Dee to contact me. Like. What are you gonna do just leave it there and move to montreal and forget like any sentimental stuff i left behind or whatever so anyway i was like gonna make an arrangement i just said like i messaged dd and like i have like just saying like hey you know like and i have all the messages and i said hey you know like i i don't really you know if, if you're gonna throw a blanket out get it so maybe i can arrange to get it from you anyway he ended up getting on the fucking video chat and like we were talking or whatever and then he told me to come get my shit and then i ended up we ended up talking and he i don't know if he trusted me or whatever but i ended up driving them to montreal and they're gonna lie and be like, no, he didn't, because he's gonna get in trouble. But this is the thing. You, you were too concerned about getting in trouble. You fucking lie to me and you drive me crazy. Like, he had no, okay, so here's the thing. I drive them to Montreal. They're like, we're gonna pick up bottles of wine because Dee Dee drinks, ask her to show you behind her sink. She has like 800 fucking empty wine bottles. She doesn't sleep, she drinks wine all night. Anyways, because I'm pretty sure he's driving her nuts. Like she must be in love with him and he's like fucking with her and using her now. He's moved, yeah, look up narcissistic triangulation. He's moved right the fuck on. Like, and I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. I know I look crazy. I'm going to admit to you right now I'm crazy because just not long ago, I messaged him that I want to move in with him. Like I, I'm like that with him. Like I'm like one minute. I she's admitting to us that she's crazy. I didn't get that. No. Had she not said that, I would never would have picked up on that. Now that she's crazy. Huh. Did y'all get that from her? From listening to her talk like this? I didn't. Why is she saying that she sounds crazy right now? Yeah, I, did, I didn't get that either. I don't know which... That kind of came out of left field. Prison Becky! Appreciate that. She is an irritable, raging wildebeest. Now, Prison Becky, it's not nice to call people irritable. Being annoyed by someone is subjective. Why is she bald? She has a condition. I want to fucking destroy him. And then the next minute, because of everything he's done to me, like, I feel like I can't get past, like, I don't know. Like, anyway. And then the next, next minute, I'm like in love. Like, I'm just obsessed. I don't know, like, my feelings are fucked. Like, and I feel like it's like a product of him constantly fucking manipulating. Like, just constantly. Like, for example, this weekend, he had no problem, and DD2 had no problem with me risking him in the protective order, breaking the protective order to go to Gatineau and get my shit when he's there. But then when we get to Montreal and shit went south, so basically, like, I wanted to get, like, I want privacy. I want to fucking privacy with him. So, like, yes, I've seen him again. So that, like, made me want him to see him over and over and over again. Like, I was, like, rehooked and I wanted to see him. So I wanted to get a hotel and I wanted to spend my birthday with him in a hotel. Bad, stupid, I know, whatever, fuck, whatever. It is what it is. That's what I wanted. And he wanted to, I guess. He got in my car and we were driving away. Fucking Dee Dee, freaking call, calling, freaking out. Come back, Nutter, come back, Nutter. She's like, I'm going to the hotel, Chantal. She's like, no, you're not. And it's like, why are you so, why are you so concerned? Like, are you fucking for real? Like, oh my god so I'm, then i'm pissed like you're lying to me obviously if she's that invested she's like gonna she's and threatening to talk to your harem about it and drinking wine so we go back to her house he convinced me to go back to her house anyway like you have a fucking mom you have, like nice life you have oh that's what gets me mad what was wrong with your old life with me like i don't get it i don't get it I don't what was wrong with your old life with me why don't you want to be in a relationship with me Or 
are, are you are you dumb or stupid or both? Why are you opting to be with this woman when you could be with me? You should be with me. You belong with me. You'd be more happy with me. <sighs> Y'all. If you have to force it, it's usually shit. If you have to force a relationship, it's usually shit. If you have to force a fart, it's usually shit. Taylor Swift. I, oh, I know. We could do a You Belong With Me parody of Foodie. You'd be way more happy with me! <laughs> I just... If you want someone to like you more, you need to become like a better version of yourself. And if that person just doesn't like you, regardless of how well you conduct yourself or like how pretty you are, or how much money you have or whatever, then they just don't like you. Get over it. I, I don't I don't get it. You can't tell people what they like. <laughs> Like, how somebody who can just, like, fuck with your fucking heart and your emotions and then just move on. Like, you were nothing. And just ignore me. I sent him messages all fucking day. Like, oh, I can't. I can't do this. She's with him on. She swore on her fucking mother. She doesn't even tell her mother. Who's in a nursing home. Oh, yeah. And by the way, nice friend, Natter. So we get drunk all night. Uh, I don't even talk about what fucking happened. I don't want to talk about it. I fucking hate him so much. I freak out. And then, anyway, I ended up getting really sick. He fucking hides my phone from me all night. He got really drunk and she got all pissed because he like was supposed to go see her mom at the group home with her. And she's like, Natter, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to do this to me, Natter. And then like they got in a big fight and she's like, you're not going to talk to me like you talk to her. Yeah, she, yeah, he will, you fucking moron. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he hit my phone again all night. And I, I, I Oh my God, that is so degrading. You're not going to talk to me like you talk to her. <sighs> you have to talk to me like an actual person. You're not going to disrespect me the way you disrespect her. That is, that is like so humiliating. I, w I would like, your self-worth is out the window. I, I mean, your self-worth is out the window at the airport on its way to Kuwait at that point. I honestly, part of me wanted to see, I want, I, like, I'm, you, you, this is your fucking fault. So when you, this is your fault, you know why? Because you and Dee don't do anything to make me feel secure about anything. Like you, that night that I was there, he told me he loved me over and over. You tell me you love me. You want something with me? You were crying. But then you fucking act different. Like, you fuck with me. This is what happens. Like, you can't fuck with people's emotions like that. You can't. You can't. No, you're not going to get away with it. I'm really not doing this for drama. It's really destroying me. Like, so you're going to tell me. So you're going to tell. And then he has the nerve to be like, it's risky. You can put me in jail if I go to the hotel with you. So you're going to. Oh, this is this is what doesn't make sense. And this is what why I'm crazy and I'm doing this today. You motherfucker. So. Gatno? His house is a Gatno. The police station is on, on his street. You're gonna fucking tell me that the whole deed is like, what about my feelings? I'm gonna be a belay drinking one. <laughs> Go fucking play with your fucking vibrator, you stupid fucking idiot. I know why Delphine had a heart attack. Yeah, you gave it to her. You have no problem with me coming over when it's convenient for you to get a fucking ride back to Montreal because you're complaining that you had to use all your money in Uber rides with Dee Dee back to Gatineau. But then you won't go take a hotel room with me because Dee Dee's crying and threatening to tell your harem that you're with me. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Dee. Fuck you, Natter. Fuck you, harem. Fuck you. Fuck you. You want to fuck you? You can all the fuck you. When I, the second day I met him, I like felt like I got to know him. Like my brain is still not accepting that the Natter I idealized doesn't fucking exist. Like my brain doesn't compute that. Like from when I met him, I'm not a liar. I'm not a cheater. You were pretty comfortable eating Dee's pussy that night, weren't you? Hmm? You're going to tell me? You're gonna tell this guy has no problem. <clears throat> I hate him so much. He had a problem with me living with Pete's. Did I ever suck Pete's, Pete's wiener? Did I ever touch Pete's? Ever. Did I ever touch him? Ever. Did I ever touch him? Never. Never. Oh, I never fucked Didi. Didi, you swore on your mother's life. So if she, something happens to her, that's on your head. That's disgusting. You both swear on your mother's life. Anyway, 
I know I did that, but whatever. And it's like, why did I believe them? Because like she so effortlessly lied for him about Ashley and like she's used to being with men like him. Like she doesn't mind. No, I don't have better things to do because my mind is cluttered with shit. With fucking shit and that's all I can care about. And then he doesn't treat me with respect. Like when I tell him how I'm feeling, I cry to him, I call him and Dee Dee's in the fucking background because you're using her. You don't have your own fucking place and you never will because you're a fucking bum. And you don't make anything on your channel anymore because your food sucks. Oh my God. Oh God. How can I have feelings for someone like that? That's what I don't get. Like why? But when I'm not, when I don't have any contact at all, it's like slowly I start, you know, feeling better. <laughs> I want it to be that idealized fucking relationship. <laughs> well, so this is how it's ending, Phoebe. This is how it's ending. Completely disregarded my feelings again. Made me feel like nothing. And so here I am. <laughs> and the whole fucking way. <laughs> the couple sitting in front of me on the plane that were so in love. They were like kissing and like just being really affectionate to each other. <laughs> and that's how it was like. The last time I saw him, we were like, just really- You belong like, with me! Out, like, me! Love me! Sleep with me! You should be cuddling me! <sighs> For anyone that's out there, that's single, if you have a crush on someone right now, I think that you can bring that to fruition by getting in their face and telling them how stupid they are for not being with you. Me. No, I, I, I have a wireless headset, so I was able to hear it. Just had to go to the bathroom real quick. Hi, baby girl. She is scary. What about this is scary? What about this woman screaming in her hotel room about this is scary to you? <sighs> screaming at them is the best approach. It's kind of like primal mating. Yeah. Yeah. So if this were like 10,000 years ago and it was Natter, Didi, and Chantal, it'd be a lot of grunting, a lot of yelling, a lot of, uh, you know, hey, fight for what you want, you know? POV, you're the hotel room neighbors. <laughs> all those, all the hotel people are at the beach right now. Like this, this, this beachfront hotel, and Chantal's in the room screaming. Go, go. everybody's laying out. <laughs> everybody's having cocktails. Somebody's in the room screaming about people that don't like her. Oh my god. Boop girl. Thank you so much. Uh, you look at her first videos and she was so soft spoken and shy. Now she's a raging lunatic. She has gone back to soft spoken and shy. People refer to that as her low BMI voice. Um, but she can sink in and out of it very quickly. She can turn one off and turn the other on very quickly. Kind of like the tears. I mean, for a quick second there, she started crying and then it immediately went into anger. That's that. That's a talent. That's a talent. People in Juilliard, people that go to 
prestigious acting schools can't do it that quickly. The more you yell at your crush, the more they fall in love. Exactly. I don't know about y'all, but if somebody walks up to me and screams in my face, love me, you should want me, that's kind of a turn on. I mean, damn. I mean, that would not make me want to run away. I mean, whew. Be grateful she's on another continent now. Uh, something tells me Chantal will be back in North, uh, North America. Probably within the year, if, if I had to guess. The current videos don't display much rage. Do you think she is changing somewhat? No, I don't think. I think that she's the same person she is in this video. I just think that there's nothing for her to rage about. Because her last relationship was very chaotic. And there was a whole lot of substances being used and a whole lot of drama. But now, in, in her current relationship, I mean, it's completely different. She has adopted a new religion. She has... Uh, like God allegedly is living with her husband. Um, the husband doesn't want to be on camera. He doesn't want to associate with anything relating to the internet. It's just very different. Hi, Gin X Lemonade. I did not say North Korea. No, I, I was going to say America, and then I said North America. I, I stuttered on in, in front of can, can it, Germex retrograde? Can it? <laughs> Ursinate! Hey, hey! Thank you for renewing your membership on the channel. Welcome back for your second month. Her hair was thinning. She got a hysterectomy. She had a mental breakdown after getting rejected, and then she shaved it all off. It's not complicated. That doesn't sound complicated at all. That sounds like a very normal sequence of events for someone to go through. Yes. The mental breakdown into getting rejected, into going to Cuba on a whim, into yelling about why that person should love her, into shaving her head. Into... I, I see it. I see it. I, okay. Thank you for uh, mapping that out for us, Ursonite. Shut your rubber band mouth. Do I have a rubber band mouth? Oh, God. Am I calling attention to my fucking zit? Here. All right. We're going to cover up the zit, and then I'm going to ask that again. Do I have a rubber band mouth? I, I mean, they're not the thinnest lips, but, you know, they're not Kylie. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. I just really felt him, and then like he leaked me like this, like, like what you have to answer to fucking D? Like I, I'm so fucked up, so fucked. Up. I just had to get it off my chest. I can't. It's bugging me. I can't go. I can't. I can't let him fuck me over. I can't. I don't care if I get in trouble for seeing him. I don't care if I get in trouble. I don't. BB. <laughs> Oh, Mimi literally told me before everything happened. Like, when I was like, I'm so done with his ass. And Mimi told me, you're going to one day be in that in Didi's fucking bed with them. Oh my God, I hate myself right now. And he was so fucking right. Oh. When I was getting my clothes, there was some fucking random bitch's bra on the ground. I don't know who the fuck that was. And then now you wonder why I'm fucking mad. Because you fucking tell me you love me. You lie to me. Because who's he going to gonna be with while he can't be with me? Like, if he could legally be with me, he probably would. But no, he can't, so he's at Didi's. It's convenient, but it's a new life. Yeah, I'm sure you feel great about that. Okay, I fooled around Didi, but like he wasn't like doing anything. Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't wanna talk about it. I'm fucking psychologically scarred from doing stuff. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't, I'm seriously scarred from like that. Not, I'm not saying like what I did with Didi was, I'm not putting her down. I'm just saying the whole experience fucked me up because like he knows how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> 
about. That's the thing. He knows how I feel about like certain things sexually. And he still pressures them on me, like with like three sons and stuff. Like he knows how I feel about it. And then he, but then he says, "No, I love you." And I just ah, oh, oh. impatient. Yeah, fuck it. I need it. I'm not kidding. He literally like pushed me into the room, and she was like just laying on the bed ready. And I was just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I was so drunk, and I like threw up right after. And I was really sick, and he still didn't care that I was. That's the thing. He didn't even care I was sick. He got so mad at me. Like, I went on the couch, because I didn't want to sleep in the bed with them because it was fucking crowded and I felt sick. I went on the couch to sleep so I could go home. He came in and pulled me by the arm into the bedroom. Like, oh, he's so controlling. He's so controlling and possessive. You, you have Didi. Why are you hiding my phone? Why are you fucking... What? Fuck. Why did she think that hooking up with his girlfriend was going to make him want her? I want you to hook up with my girlfriend. And then in her mind, she thought, okay, well, if I do that, then he'll want me. Maybe like if I show him that I'm freaky, then he'll want me because he wants a freaky girl. forget mental health treatment go to cuba and rant in your hotel room that's a pretty good outlet yeah imagine being her therapist that wouldn't even be trauma dumping at that point that would just be like trauma bulldozing i mean yeah that therapist would be like jeremy renner She was just desperate. Yeah, I mean, I know. Yeah, I know she's desperate. It's just, I, I don't know. Like, I, if I, like, just me personally, if I was this, like, if I was her, um, I would just stay single. Like, if I had all these problems and all of this, like, you know, it just caused more issues, um, I, I would just stay single. I, I, I would rather be single and have my dignity than pay these pieces of crap to, like, sort of have a relationship with me. But I guess that's, like, what she always wanted. She's always wanted a boyfriend. She wants a relationship. She has to have it. Was she Polly? No, she was in love with Natter. And then Dee Dee was a subscriber of Chantal's. And after he started being featured on Chantal's um, channel, Dee Dee swooped in and DM'd him. And he went to go live with Dee Dee. And then Chantal tried to win him back from DD, and it never was successful. Melissa Ekstrom, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Happy to have you back for a second month. Now, Jordy, we don't yell here. Go water the plants before we have to give you a free lip gloss. <laughs> Who says that I didn't when I just left for a minute? The world may never know. Appreciate that, Melissa. More like obsessed. This this is beyond obsessed. This is like fatal attraction times 10. She stole her man. Stole her man. Mm, and you don't do that to Dee. You don't pull her arm. You don't treat her like that. Why? Why? No, uh, my room just has three beds because it's a suite. I felt like they were trying to like slowly like out themselves to me and like make it okay. Like he wants to keep the peace with everybody. Ugh. <laughs> to think that he never loved me is what hurts the most. Like and you guys can understand that. Like when you love somebody so much and they just say it was all not real. Like I can't go home. I'm stuck here. <laughs> what are you doing? Why am I in a hotel room in Cuba crying about a fucking bub <laughs> and a fucking Chris Farley lookalike? Gross. I hate myself. He knew I never would. He knew I hated that. He knows I hate that. He still fucking asked me and he knows it hurts me. 
Like, they, I feel like they're teaming up on me. Like, that's what... <laughs> oh, were you his fucking mother? He can get in trouble, Sean Cal. I don't want him to get in trouble and go to jail. But you have no fucking problem with me coming to Gatineau, you dumb idiot. Right? You're an idiot, you know that? Is it your hair color or the pixie cut? I don't know. Or maybe the eight bottles of wine. Oh my god. <laughs> so Montreal... So, so you're telling me, middle of the day, with the fucking sun out, on my white body, going into the uh, fucking Gatineau, Gatineau, Gatineau? No, he's not, they're not, he doesn't even claim her either. Right on the phone, whenever, whenever I'm like, so you are fucking her. Whenever she called, he's like, he got so mad. He's like, oh, it's because she's concerned about me as a friend. You wouldn't know what that is. Yeah? Well, I don't eat out my fucking friends, you piece of crap. You're going to tell me that's Gatno, where the police station is, where they can see my car at your house. is less risky than random hotel in another city at like two in the morning. Really? Okay. Somebody's just going to go to a hotel. They don't even know where, like. Do you know what I mean? Nikki's never gonna let him go. She put up with so much shit for 10 years with her ex. Horrible, worse than what he's done to me. So no, there's no hope. She fucking lives by herself. She's a wino, she's desperate. And if she fucks Shushu, her and Shushu fuck. So they're, 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 this is perfect for her. Like, her and that are perfect for each other, actually. But you fucked me over, so here you have it. Yeah, my mental health is really, really taken a dive from this. I don't even know how to process it. Obviously therapy, but He's like, he, everything he says is a lie, basically. They're both liars. But she lied like it was nothing about Ashley, just to make him happy. And she won't like she won't talk back to him, like really. My lips are dry. Whoa. My nose is crusty. My pores are huge. Whoa, uh, Chris. She's she's not that big. I mean, Chris Farley looked like a bullfrog. Um, Dee Dee. I mean, you know, Dee Dee's Dee not, I wouldn't say that she's thin, but uh, Chris Farley? She doesn't really have a fat face either. That's that's kind of the thing about Chris Farley. He has that like that, that like big neck chin thing. I mean, other than them having blonde hair, I didn't I didn't see that. Chris Farley's looks with Jeffrey Star's attitude. Did Natter live in Cuba? No. She, um, when she realized that she wasn't able to win him over, she took a trip to Cuba and was like, oh, I'm going to go spend some time in paradise and sleep with all these people to, like, make him jealous or something. But she went there and then decided to sit in the hotel room and cry and scream. So... Baby girl blessed. Thank you so much. Love you, Jordy. Hands and tree frogs to you. Oh, heart hands. Heart hand and a tree. Well, I don't have a tree frog nearby, but just, just know that there is a tree frog looming in the background for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I thought you were matching her to Chris Farley. Well, Chantal called her Chris Farley, so that's what I was just trying to see the comparison. Dude, I look like shit. And I, I wish you understood how I felt. I wish, I wish you knew. I wish I could explain. I wish I understood how I felt because I don't. I don't have to give him money. Dee Dee does. She pays for everything. She said it. Well, I don't, you know, because I'm sort of Dee Dee and she was all mad. Like, he is such a good friend to you, Dee Dee, but like, while well, he blew off your mother, you're like, you're not going to dis- She was flipped out and was like, she asked me to take him back to Gatineau. She's like, when I get back from my mother's, I want him gone. You're not going to disrespect my mother like this. While you're visiting your mother, we had sex in your bed. How is that nice? You know you're right about that, yeah. No, but why is you about being with him this weekend? I do. And I did, yeah, I lied about not being with him. Because I can't be with him legally, so that's why I lied about it. If I'm desperate to, to see him and I don't want people to know, I will lie for it. I would, would lie about it, yeah. It makes me a bad person? Well, whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean? If you break the law, you go to jail. That's how it works. Because of everything he's going through with everything legal. If it wasn't legal, he probably wouldn't care. It's his ass on the line. That's the only fucking reason he cares. He doesn't give a fuck that I'm crying here about him. In another country. <sighs> Oh, it's so fucking gorgeous here. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, it's getting. Ooh! The chair just fucking bended. <laughs> it's like a cheap plastic chair. Honestly, guys, I think I just want to unpack right now. Yeah, that's why. Do you think they have that's, that's why the chair almost snapped in half. It's because it's a cheap plastic chair. That, that That's the reason. We screwed while you went to go visit your mom. That that is like, I remember in high school these uh, these girls used to fight over this kid on Twitter, um, named Pete, 
And there was this one girl, and they would fight on Twitter. I think I still have the screenshot, actually. And she tweeted Pete's new girl. Like, he, Pete used to date this girl, right? And then the, the old girl texted the new girl, or no, tweeted the new girl, I fucked him first! Like, we were 17, and she was putting that online. Oh my god. We love a moral degenerate. Me or her. I have room service. I, f I definitely feel like I'm in a third world country and I don't like it. I'm sorry to say, but I don't know if traveling will be for me. Like, to places like this because... Like, it's rough. Like, I feel trapped. I feel trapped. I came here to probably to just. She's in an oceanside resort. I feel trapped. I feel trapped. I feel like I'm in a third world country. <laughs> Fucking move on and like do content and try to forget about him. And here I am. <gasps> because I spent the weekend before coming here with him. How fucking stupid. My birthday. We were my fucking birthday. Like for them. So I could listen to Dee Dee caterwauling over, over three bottles of wine. I just don't like the secretive stuff, Bonnie. But I might go live a lot because I don't like being alone, I don't think. <laughs> I thought I would like it, but like this kind of thing is weird. I don't know. I don't like talking to strangers. And they're all old and boring. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> As opposed to young and exciting Chantal. Everyone here is old and boring. Maybe you should go talk to some of them. They could teach you a thing or two about life. They're all old and boring. They need to be mentally stable and fun like me. Keep your business off the internet. Third world country. Yeah, that, that kind of took me out. I don't want cold people. <laughs> I'm so fucking boring. Ugh. Sorry, I'm, I I do like old people. I just I don't like talking to them for like all day. It was so boring all day. Just old people, like nobody my age to talk to. Fuck. Like a woman on the bus told me about her fucking husband remodeling her kitchen floor and her fucking hemorrhoids. Like I don't care. <laughs> They're very rude, like, you know, like, where's my bag? Or, like, they're very entitled. Like, older, rich, white people, I fucking hate them. I hate old, white, rich people. And I don't want to vacation with them, actually. And I don't want to talk to them, and I don't want to eat dinner with them. And I don't want to party with them on a fucking all-inclusive fucking Sunwing fucking vacation! And Cuba's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but the resorts, they, they're depressing. Because you know that they're suffering here. They're not happy working here, slaving over fucking white people. For tips. Ugh, it's fake, I hate it. I want to puke and go home. This is too much now. But it's too much that there's consequences for how you treated me this this past weekend. There's consequences for how you treat people matter. You know that? And Dee? Yeah, there's consequences. So I'm fucking stuck here. So I better make the best of it. She said she thinks that she's like the only she's like, you need sleep, like you're exhausted. You you will one hundred percent feel so much better tomorrow. Like get a drink, put on your floppy hat, whatever, you know? Because they think it's funny. Like how old are you, Misha? You think gun is funny at your age? How fucking old are you? As an insult, you think that's one. Hanging around with fucking EG piece of shit too much, I can't exceed. So I figure out why I'm freaking out. I feel I feel too far from home. I feel weird. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I guess I'm a person who gets homesick, I guess. I realize. I don't know. I didn't know how I would feel coming here. Maybe I'll feel differently tomorrow. Maybe I just need it. It's a shock. Like, I went through a lot today. <laughs> and this weekend. <sighs> so. I just want to. I'm going to go have a hot shower. You guys want to wait for me? Homesick. Kelly Lace, this is why I blocked you before, remember? I didn't delete my number because you freaked out on me for not answering your messages. Like, I can't- I told you. Like, I'm <laughs> Nobody made you go to Cuba. <laughs> and as she got there and she's like, Oh, I don't want to be here! Ugh, I hate it here. I hate all these people. I hate it. Ugh. <laughs> is she ever happy? Um, yeah. 
seldom, but it's normally involving a man giving her attention and food being in her mouth. That's usually when you experience happiness if you're Chantal. Sorry, like, I'm not, I don't know, like, fuck. Like, we were fight. you fucking flipped out on me, so I fucking blocked you because I don't want, I don't need that in my life right now. I don't need somebody to, like, give me shit if I don't answer their fucking text messages. I can't answer text messages right away. Like, I don't have the time to talk to every single person who messages me. I do get back to you, so I don't know what the problem is. I get back to you eventually, like, more than other people, actually. So I don't know what the problem is, but whatever. Like, I'm literally, like, crying to you how I fucking missed you and, like, love you and in the same breath. You manage to like somehow muster up a tear and be like, I love you, but then bug me after. I hate when you fucking bug me for that to involve Dee Dee sexually. You fucking know it. And then you have the nerve to be like, I don't fuck her. I don't fuck her. I don't fucking. Ugh, no, you fuck yourself. It really hurt you. Yeah. Yeah, that really did hurt me. Like the weekend really, really hurt me. And he doesn't care like at all. And that hurt. As somebody who cares about him and like loves him and like, he'll say, oh, you, you can't love and care about somebody and put them in jail. Again. I don't even want to say it. I can't, I feel like I can't say it. Like I can't openly say, like verbally say like anything he's done to me. It's weird. So, the fact that you two knew you were, you're fucking each other and you're lying to me about it to get something from me, that's manipulation. And you deserve everything you fucking get. Everything. Ganging up on, I feel like I'm being ganged up on. Like they, they have this whole thing going on behind the scenes that they're keeping from me to keep me calm, to, to drop charges, to manipulate me more, to get, I don't know what he wants from me. That's why, I, even when I called him today, I'm like, say it, fucking say it, say it, it's done. And he won't say it. He doesn't want anything from you. Nothing. He wants nothing from you. I mean, except if you're going to pay for stuff. Didn't, yeah, she, I mean, she paid his rent. She bought him an iPad. She bought him cigarettes. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's nice, I guess. But other than that, no, he wants absolutely nothing from you, Chantal. She looks like an old man. Yeah, I know. The the old people probably thought that she looked lonely and they were probably trying to be nice. Like, oh, look at this middle-aged woman here at this resort all by herself. She looks like she doesn't have anyone to talk to. And then, you know, they, they, they'd be nice. God, I don't want to talk to them. Ugh. Okay. Go sit in your hotel room alone and yell. Uh, your hotel room alone and yell. Then. Greetings from the UK at 4:40 a.m. Oh, you're up late, Alley Cat. I can see why he dropped the relationship with her. There never. Uh, yeah, I know, but like, there never really was a relationship. I mean, they had like a situationship. Like they would hang out. They would screw. She would buy him stuff. It was never like he ne he never said like oh this is my girlfriend. They were they were never together. They never lived together. Like there was never anything that put down roots for the two of them. But in her mind, oh, they were together all right. Uh, Doris, hey, hey Doris. I'm drunk in a formal dress, post-gala, eating leftover pizza. This stream is my dream. <gasps> drunk in a formal dress, post-gala, eating leftover pizza. Ah, oh. ah, oh. that sounds so nice. That sounds lovely. Enjoy the night, Doris. This is the life. Hold on tight. What kind of pizza? They break up. They, 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 I mean, like, don't you have to be together to break up? I, I don't know, like, what you even call it. She, she would be on good terms with him for one day, and then the next day it would be this. And then the day after that, it would be good terms. Next day, she'd be at the police station reporting him for something. He never said it. Like, you need to fucking be straight. Mm -hmm. Creatures of the night forever. Welcome to your important situation, please. He'll, like, in his defense, he will say, you're, you're being psychotic. You don't understand. You you called the cops. You, we cannot be together. That would be fine and dandy, Natter. But the manipulation, I, I smell the manipulation from you and Didi. 
like she called when you were coming to the hotel you had a bro- fucking breakdown and it was okay for me to be in Gatineau but not not a hotel with you bullshit but I know I can tell I know I can tell she's in love with him I can tell and it's so fucking hmm you're so scared to fly and you did yeah thank you Faith I did that was a really weird experience because the minute I had to go and there was like all people behind me and I had to ask for a seatbelt extender and then like I everyone was staring at me like literally every single person and there was this one woman in particular for some reason she just stared at me like the whole time just stared I felt like saying would you like a picture but in the frame of mind I was at at the time I didn't care I was just so happy that I was doing something like that for myself and I just confidently went right back to the plane and was like excuse me it was like the aisle is this wide literally the seats are this wide I could not go to the fucking bathroom for four hours because I'm a fat person and who wants to travel just like everyone else. I can't go to the fucking bathroom for four hours because of- Oh my god, the sad music. Well, when she travels now, it's a lot longer than four hours. I mean, when she flies from the Middle East to Canada, it's like... There's connecting flights and all that other shit. And she's on, she's on planes for like over 10 hours at a time. I'm just a fat person that wants to travel like everyone else. So we've entered into the woe is me portion of the stream. I just want to be like everyone else. She just said a second ago that she doesn't want to be there at all. I don't think traveling's for me. I hate this. It's like a third world country here. I just want to travel like everybody else. I, I don't... Her thought processes are like the Velocicoaster. And take up three seats. No, I, I, I actually think that she gets one. Um... When did you start watching Girl? When did you start watching Chantal Jordy? Right around the time Amber Lynn and Becky broke up. So that would have been like summer of 2021. A little bit before, a little bit before that. So like about three years ish. It's almost the stages of grief. Yeah. I think that she recycles through emotions to see which one works. You know, like if I get pissed off and yell and I get the reaction that I want, okay. If that doesn't work, all right, well, let's try the victim and cry thing. If that doesn't work, let's move on to something else. One seat that's so unfair to whoever has to sit next to her. I... I would be upset, yeah, if I had to be... Because, I mean... Oh, God. Airplane seats are already small. I mean, I'm height, weight, proportional-ish. And it's small for me. Like, I don't have... I mean, I'm not even that tall. I'm, like, 5'10". And my knees, like, almost touch the freaking tray table. I couldn't imagine having something, like encroaching on you on the side in addition to it. And I mean, like, on top of that, like, the the heat that people give off, you know, and, like, the pheromones and things like that, like, it's just, like, all around just cringe. <laughs> Jordy knee-shaming. Well, I'm knee-shaming myself, so it's okay, Jeffree Star. Right? As long as you make fun of yourself, it's fine. Nicole Garrett! Really appreciate that. Ew, gross. The disrespect and complaining about old people talking to her. She probably told them her life story, I can't with her, and not be happy to travel when others would love to. I hate her. Gross. Couldn't agree with you more, Nicole. Could not agree with you more. 
Yeah, I'd imagine. I mean, if if there were like older, you know, old old rich white people, like she said, likes to say on here, um, they, they probably see this this woman here, you know, by herself and everything. And like people, I, I don't know, people are usually a little bit more laid back, a little bit more agreeable when on vacation. So if they're you know, seeing someone that's lonely or doesn't have anybody to talk to, it's more likely that they'll go up and, you know, say, oh, hey, where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. Like, they, they, they weren't doing it just, I don't, they were probably doing it out of, like, uh, charity. Like, I would imagine some people look at Chantal and they think, like, oh, charity case. Like, just trying to be friendly. And it's like, you go and, you go and be friendly and it's like she goes back to her hotel room and talks shit on you. We shaming bones now? We might be. What's the knee bone called again? The patella? Patella! We're patella shaming. And then this is the tibia. It, the one that goes down your leg is the tibia. And then you have the fibula. Yes. Right. Everybody knows the femur. Do you want to see my femur? No, we're not. We're not going to show my femur. Knees have caps on their bones, so they're liars. These knees are capping. Wouldn't want to run into these knees at a resort in Cuba. No, I would not. But. So yeah, I felt a little out of place traveling, you know, being the fattest person on the plane, being the fattest person anywhere. A little. Uh, why am I feeling sorry for myself today? And then seeing him right before the trip, right on my, my birthday, oh man, I, I really, my birthday's been so messed. Like, my channel, I, I think my, I swear my grams had something to do with that. I fucking swear. Because somebody, something heard me say. Do you remember? I'm like, imagine my channel came back for my birthday. And yeah, now I know I'm being stupid again and talking shit, but... You can change your plane ticket to go home early. Really? For real? I will. I'm not kidding. I won't stay for seven days. I'll stay for a few, but not seven. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. If I can just go home, like, in three days or four days, that would be better for me. I don't like being stuck on it. I don't like being stuck. Like, I don't know. I'm, I feel so far from home. I panic. Like, I feel... Her whole lifestyle is driving around, getting fast food, and getting high. She leaves once to go to the beach in another country, and then has to leave early to get back to that. We all have knees. That's not true. That's not true. There may be people in the chat right now that do not have knees. Glitter and lasers could never. Glitter and lasers shits all over Chantal and Amber Lynn. Glitter and lasers walked around all of London. She can shop in Target. Glitter and lasers works out in her living room. I don't want to ever hear GNL slander in here ever again. <laughs> Why did she go on vacation then? To, 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 flex on the boyfriend or the 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 whatever the, what he was she wanted to show him like oh look i'm taking vacations to tropical destinations and getting whatever i want don't you wish you could be with me but then she got there and just cried and yelled like when i didn't think i had my charger i was just like oh my god i can't just go to a freaking walmart and buy one you know like i'm like freaking out everything is a bigger deal like, things that we take for granted as being convenient, you really, really miss here, is what I'm saying. They try to, they really try to make it, like, so that you don't miss things. Oh my god. Like, I got there, and there was no Walmart for me to go to to buy a charger. I'm freaking out. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. She is the, like, she, she's like an awful reason or like an awful example of why the rest of the world kind of thinks that North Americans are gross. It's like extreme examples like this. Things. 
you're on vacation, so it's different. You know, you're supposed to go away and not have your electronics and stuff, but I would rather not be on vacation. Then. I cannot not have my phone for a day. I will not like it. I don't know. That's how I'm being honest. Call, they don't, I can't call the front desk. There's no phone. I tried calling numbers, but it says in Spanish that you can't call the number because it's not a number you can call. This is what I mean. I feel like lost in translation. I don't like that feeling. Like not knowing the language and stuff. Or I don't like when people don't understand what I'm trying to- Oh my god. I feel lost in translation. You haven't even done anything in Cuba. You've sat in the hotel room. I feel lost in translation. Good lord. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. Where is her hair? She shaved it because she, uh had a hysterectomy and uh, some condition. I'm trying to say, I feel really bad. Like, I feel really, like, helpless. I think that your state of mind before you left has made an impact on your enjoyment. You are also overtired. Well, um, you say that, but I just remember, like, yeah, it was traumatic. Like, I was, like, my state of mind was so, like, on my birthday, like, because when that hotel thing happened with Didi, like, we ended up driving back, and he's like, I really want to spend my birthday with you, so you, this is what we'll do. We'll go spend the night at Didi's, we'll sleep on the couch together, she'll be sleeping, we'll go, I'll come with you at 9.30 in the morning tomorrow, we'll go to the hotel. So I was like, okay. So you said that without any intention of following through, it's a fucking manipulation. Didi is drinking wine, flipping out because of the hotel thing, she's stressing out, gonna lose an ad or whatever her problem is, I don't know. Because I could hear her talking, she's like, oh, what the fuck, are you going back with her? Going back? What? Oh, I can't stand the lies. I can't stand the lies. Anyway. No, I guess I didn't really. Kenny! Hi, Kenny. How have you been? Oh my god. You, you uh, you gonna come back for the next expansion? What, what, what are we doing? Are we, uh, we gonna play with Jake again? Who are the other people? The one guy that lives in Colorado. We're gonna, are we going to play with him again? Let me know. You know where to find me. She's in another country still focusing all her energy on him. I feel lost in translation. She really thinks that her life is some Hollywood film. She really does. Like, she is the main character. She is Pretty Woman. I've never watched this woman. How does she have a channel with subscribers? Well, when you put your whole life online and your whole life is kind of tragic, a lot of people uh, like to tune in and bear witness to the train wreck. She had a 2004 Britney moment. I thought that Britney's meltdown was in 2007. 2004, she was still kind of, like, in her prime. Well, I mean, Britney's prime was, like, 0102. Uh, 00, 0102. But 2004, I think that she still uh, was slaying. She always wanted to be an actress. I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams. Ooh. Look what, look what Natter made me do. Look what Natter made me do. Look what Natter just made me ew. She could be Travis Kelsey's next girlfriend. That could be next season. Hmm? She's the star and everyone else are background characters. Absolutely. I really believe, I really fucking believed him. Like I did. Call me stupid. Stupid. The whole time was spent, yeah, back to that story. The whole time was spent back to like, oh, that's the thing. Like, it's disrespectful to her. It's her house. I get it. But she was, she went to bed or she went to drink wine. I'm like, cause we were like falling asleep and she was still up drinking. And I'm like, I just want to go to bed. I'm like, I, actually I wanted to go home, but he was like, no, sleep, sleep, sleep. He didn't want me to leave. So I, I stayed and I wanted to see him. So we were cuddling on the couch and I felt really close to him. Like I felt really, really close to him. And we were like, 
you know, started whatever, and then she was like, came out one, and she's like, I can't do this. It's too weird. I can't. Like, what is? What are we? What are you even like? How is this even happening? Like, after everything, and it's like, after everything, what? Like, I think she felt left out, maybe a little. I don't know. But too bad. I mean, I was very. Oh my clear. god, you're at her fucking apartment. What do you mean she feels left out? You are the other woman. She felt left out? No, she wanted you to get out of her house. Maybe she felt left out. It's like, mm, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I'm not gay. I told I, I screamed that in bed. I'm like, I'm not gay, because he kept pushing me to like... Like, he, I was in the middle of the bed, and she was on, like, I was beside her, and he was on my side, like, behind me. And he kept pushing me into her, like, ah, oh, he's so fucking stupid. No, I don't, he didn't record, no. Spread eagle in the whole bed. He looked like a little friggin' string bean diving right in. Ugh. Yeah, she was ready and willing. Spread eagle on the bed, I told you, with a blindfold on. And he pushed me in the room. Right under her fucking badge. <laughs> Fuck. No, I wasn't, like, forced. I mean, I did do it, but I, I was, I feel like I was pushed to do it. Yeah, I feel like I pushed. Like, literally pushed. Like, came into the living room, stripped me down, and was, like, pushing me, like, like, kind of just, like, pushing me into the bedroom, and then, like, I flew onto the bed. Like, he pushed me kind of hard enough onto the bed. I don't know if he was, like, I didn't feel like it was, like, malicious, but it wasn't, like, I don't know. It wasn't nice. It didn't feel nice, honestly. I was so drunk. I had, like, two... I was so drunk. Right after, I went and threw up. Like, I... I, I had to... Well, like, in between, like, right when, you know, like, I ran into the bathroom and threw up, threw up bad. He had no sympathy for me that night. And my stomach was raw. It was burning. No sympathy. Just wanted to be sexually gratified all night. Do you think? Wow. It's almost as if he continues to use you over and over again. And it's almost as if you're not picking up on this pattern. Huh. No, that can't be it. He loves her. Yeah, no, no, no. He, he loves her. What am I saying? I'm speaking nonsense here. He loves her. He wants to be with her. He wants to claim her. He wants to start a family with her. Yeah. Yeah. It's so wild. She used to be this forthcoming. This, I, I know. It's like this was only two years ago. Isn't this crazy how different it is now? Give it a new low. Yeah, obviously. You didn't even need to ask that question. Fuck. Yes. Obviously. This is why I'm like this. Insane right now. Yes, how did he get all scratches and bruises and missing tooth? I don't know. He's falling apart because he sucks. I don't. I think I think the fact that like seeing the only part of me that still falls back in love with him over and over again is the part that believes him. Or like the part that really thinks that like anything he says is true. And I feel like he's a genuine person. And that's so not true. Like, I'm fooling myself completely. Did you envision, envision visiting him in jail while he serves time on the... Yeah, I did. I actually did. That's fucked up. I did. Very briefly. I was like, okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, if he goes to jail, well, uh, maybe I can... Uh, well, uh, you know... The no. She's going to start giving him commissary. <gasps> no. A prison arc. She wouldn't be able to vlog in a prison, would she? I don't think so. No. Has anyone ever visited someone in jail? Do, do they take your phone, like, when you go into, like, the little meeting room and sit at the picnic table and talk to them? Or, like, go in the room and, like, you, you pick up the one phone and then they pick up the one phone on the other side of the glass and you talk like that? Like, could, could she vlog that? Or their metal detectors. I wish I was as delusional as her. Reality is a lovely place, but I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah, you got to leave it in the locker. Oh. Inmates can have iPads. What? Inmates can... Ha what, what prison are you in? 
then, then he'll go to jail, he'll do his time, and then and I can help him while he's in jail, and then we can be together. <laughs> Ugh. He does whatever he wants because you and D are letting him. He's probably gonna watch him like go like he's like I could press charges against you probably for harassment for whatever. I'll just freaking <laughs> seriously. You did this to me. There's so much evidence of how you are. <laughs> he's a joke. The ocean is nice, but it's kind of scary when you think about it. There's like sea creatures. <laughs> did you think he was gonna leave you and go back with with you? He would if I, he was legally allowed to be with me. Yeah, I think he would. No, I don't think he would leave her. No, because he needs to have as many people in, uh, helping him out as possible. That's why he, you know, wants to include everybody. One big happy family. Like, <laughs> I spent the whole drive home from Montreal video chatting, screaming. We were screaming. Like, I was screaming at him. Screaming, screaming. And he was just laying there looking half dead. Like, I can't take this stress. And, like, this is too much for me. And I was like, I wasn't screaming at him. I was, like, like upset. Like, because you're going to, like, I come up here to, you, you're okay for me to come up here. You say I can come up here. But then you're not going to go to a hotel with me just because Dee freaks out and, like, threatens to tell the harem that you're with me and like you don't want to risk going to jail but you're okay to risk it in Gatineau that doesn't make any sense to me so that's yeah sorry I ended up going home because I was so tired because she stayed up with us like she had to work yeah she won't go on the beach because she's afraid of sea creatures what does she think is going to happen like an orca whale is going to come eat her on the coast I mean if any they're probably more afraid of her than the other way around She's probably more of a threat to them. Prisoners can listen to music, watch movies, and text all day. What? I thought prisoners have to, like, read books and... Like, they get to go to the courtyard and lift weights... Is, is prison like Orange is the New Black, but like with iPads? Have I been lied to? She was drinking wine until like 8.30 in the morning. And she was so distraught because of the situation. Like, obviously, she's probably like in love with him. I didn't read that. Like, I didn't, I thought they were friends. So for me, why do you care? Like, you're in, you're in your own room. You, like, Nat are staying with you as a friend. And like, we want to fool around. So why, why does that matter? You know what I mean? But it really bugged her. But I get that. Like, I wouldn't want people making out in my fucking house, especially after helping him getting over the situation with me after everything, you know? So it's a weird, it's so messed up. The dynamic is so messed up. Katie says she has dignity for herself. She has no dignity for herself. Don't let her, she's a, see how they lie? Like, am I lying about this? Who do you believe? Seriously. We know the pattern. I've been, I was there. They're lying. Case is over. Goodbye. I, do you want, ask them if they want me to post screenshots to prove it. Are they denying it? Because I'll post screenshots. They better not deny it. Mega doo doo. No, not the beef and cheddar. Yeah, I don't have any dignity, but I don't claim to either, Queenly. That's the difference. Zoom. Yeah, my toe. Look at. Look at this. Can you see this one? No. Look, the foot. Oh my god. Why are her toes like all the same size? Like a line. Like mine mine descend from like biggest to littlest. Hers are just like a, a, a line. Where is it? Where the fuck? Where was the slack? Wait. Where? I can't see it. Here. <laughs> it looks like my my toes are doing the. <laughs> oh, I breathe. I don't understand how people don't th don't understand how I wouldn't be upset about him having Didi over there. He literally uses me for everything I have and then ships me out like I'm nothing. Obviously that hurts. Come on, like. So I'm gonna we're gonna be live all day tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I have to get a Wi-Fi card or what. <sighs> I would. I, ins I look insane. Calling him video like just him looking at me like can't give me answers he's like i want something from him he can't give me he's not capable anyway, good night bye prove it no i'm not showing my feet on camera
I could get money for that. I could I could always hit up that person that emailed me. They want videos. They're like, let's work something out. I want pics and videos. So, until I come up with a decision, these feet are staying secured. Is she drunk? No. Jory is going to start an OF. That implies that I haven't already. Mm. Would you guys subscribe my OF if it was just me eating Pringles? Hmm? Anyone? I hate feet too. I don't dislike them, but I don't like them. Please pass the chips. Don't hog them all. There's only like five left. So I think it's only fair if I eat the rest of them. What's the lore on this girl? Um, like, I don't know, like 500 pounds and like mean. I was a social worker and visited patients in jail. Nothing's allowed. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where like people have iPads and you know, like, that, that's new to me. Can I claim a singular chip? Yeah. You want me to overnight it to you? All right, let's auction this chip. Do I hear one dollar? Do I hear one dollar? One dollar in the chat. Two dollar. Do I hear two dollar? I'd be an awful auctioneer. Everything's allowed in California. It never rains in Southern California. Tree fitty. Jordy, sign your chip first. I don't have a marker. You think a ballpoint pen would work or you think it would break the chip? They'll probably break the chip. Seven lions. Seven lions is a lot. With the lion, let's go. Let's fucking go. What do you guys want to do tomorrow? Do you want to do Jeffrey tomorrow? Eat your zebra cakes. <gasps> oh my god, it's March 3rd. They expire on March 4th. Should I, eat, should I eat all nine of them right now? Before they expire? I think that I'm going to keep them as a memento. Like, you know, just to just like reference them and stuff. I still have... I, I keep... Like, girl, girl world mementos near nearby. Like, for example, y'all remember uh, the Destiny skit from last summer? Like, I still have the Mountain Dew Code Red. I still have it sitting nearby, waiting.
Destiny, get your butt crack in this house. Immediately. Immediately. Jory Mukbang Wen. I used to make car videos where I would eat in my car and just talk about nothing. Mukbang? Did anyone buy these fiber gummies that I keep recommending every episode? I swear, every, every single live stream I come on here, I'm like, guys, eat these fiber gummies. Has anyone bought them yet? Or should I just, like, keep promoting them? <sighs> Never play with the code red. Oh, God. Tastes like Halo. No balls. No balls what? You want me to drink the Mountain Dew? But it's so late. I don't want to be up all night. Jordy is a sugar addict. are you to say that about me Terry is that is that what you do Terry you tear people down is that why your name's Terry Terry more like meanie more like liar So there's about five weeks until my Owl City concert. Are y'all ready to watch Adam Young sing Fireflies live? I have those gummies. <gasps> Adele has the gummies. Did you ever try those fruit bars? Oh, the frozen fruit bars? Let me go get one. I forgot about those. One second. Frozen fruit bars. Mahogany, I'd never leave if it were up to me. I got the fruit bar. It's 60 calories, you know that? I looked on the box when I was out there. It's like all iced over. Ew. How long ago did we buy this? Like a month? You know, this is like kind of gross actually. I don't know if I want this. It's about to spill ice everywhere. It's about to spill ice spice everywhere. Do you see all the excess ice? Look at all that. Gosh, I'm gonna like drown with all of this. It's like I'm getting waterboarded. Can I have it? I still have like, well, how many come in a box? Six? I still have five. Freeze or burn? Is freeze or burn keto?
I um I feel like I'm in a third world country eating this. How do you get the fiber gummies to stop sticking together? I shake it. I shake the jar. Is it good? It's okay. You know, it's... It's not, like... It's not dessert at the Doherty house, but, you know, it's not, like, awful. It's not like a zebra cake. Jordy slurping. What do you guys think Eugenia's doing right now? You know. 12, 18 a.m. on a Sunday. What do you think Eugenia's doing? Go get a McFlurry. I don't know if I've ever had a McFlurry. I've definitely had um, vanilla cones from McDonald's, but... Putting on makeup. Looks like a little Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Actually, it looks like a tonsil, you know, like there's, there's like dangly things in your throat. Kind of looks like that. I think she lives in Connecticut. Vacuuming her couch. You mean her bed? She only watches when she's the subject of the live. Hey, babe. All right, well, I have been gaslit into eating a popsicle. Thanks for that are trying to fatten me up like Hansel and Gretel I'm gonna wash that all down with some hydrogen infused water so what are we doing tomorrow Jeffrey are we going to do Jeffrey tomorrow? I mean, I don't know what else we would do. I, I don't, I mean, we can't do this again. I mean, we could, but. Jeffrey. Maybe we'll catch him when he's live. You know, like snipe. I feel like we always have the most fun when we snipe. Like when I, when we watch recordings of Jeffrey, it's just kind of like, ugh. Eugenia said she'll be back soon on Instagram. Really? Like just now? Or like today? When'd she say that? Uh, Eugenia Cooney. Here it is. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh, it's crazy that it's March already in the year. Kind of not, because it's been kind of a weird year so far. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of been trying to figure stuff out, and hopefully I'll be, like, more around soon. <laughs> um, and, but, yeah, you guys, um, hopefully soon-ish, like, I'll be around more again. And, um, and I know some of you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, just complaining about internet stuff. But, you know, sometimes there's also just like family things and stuff like that going on, um, which I guess could happen with everybody. So, you know, I think you just have sometimes have to try to 
I guess like do things the best you can and anyways um just want to say hi to you guys though and say I hope you guys are all doing good and yeah <laughs> should I make a 45 minute long video about that about these two 30 second clips Well, first of all, she said that she didn't, she won't be back soon. She said, hopefully she'll be back soon. So whoever said that originally is twisting her words. And I won't stand for that. I hate the fake voice. That's her voice. What do you mean? family things yeah no she means like when when they were cleaning out the grandma's house i have a lot going on i had to clean out the grandma's house i had to go get my spongebob bedspread from the 90s at my grandma's house i have family stuff going on you should copy this clip one more time and really pull that audio out you know I don't know. She, I don't know why she she does. She seems hopeful that she's going to be back soon. Back to Eugenia live stream coverage. Like it's December 2023 all over again. Whoo. Hi guys, it's me. Oh no, Amberlynn. Amberlynn's like lip syncing for her life on Instagram story. In weekend, it is a full windstorm happening right here in Wyoming. Um, I just had an amazing family drive all the way from Washington. They bought four yaks from me. So excited to get my genetics out on the West Coast. So excited. Um, I love meeting other yakkers, other people that have farms. Um, and we are currently selling yak calves, starter herds, meat herds. Baby, we got it all. Um, and I love connecting with other ranchers. So today has been so fulfilling. It's lunchtime, bitch. What are y'all having? What? I love spreading my genetics. I love spreading my genetics to other yakkers. It's lunchtime, bitch. What are y'all having? Julia Rose, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate the diamond. We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Like tonight we end I. We're beautiful like yakkers in the sky. I want a baby yak. Livestock genetics can be big money. He's smart. That's just what Jeffrey needs, more money. Yeah, he's having a yakadia. Wade made it. Who's this? <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's an old picture. Remember remember when Jeffrey like teased the internet that he was dating some NFL player and he was like posting all these like cryptic photos? And then it ended up just being some random guy that had a wife and kids that he did a podcast with for like two episodes. It's lunchtime, bitch. What are you having? Okay, I can't listen to Amber Lynn scream again. No, 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 no. 
I'm in Washington. I'm going to save up for one of his yaks and become a yacker. How much is a yak? Is Jeffrey Cosmetics still open? I could call and ask. Jeffrey Cosmetics, Wyoming. Are they open still? Or closed? Ugh. We could call tomorrow. They're open from 10 to 8. Hi. Um, so uh, I'm interested in one of your products. None of the makeup, none of the skincare, none of, none of the merch, none of that. Um, I'm looking to buy a yak from Mr. Star. How much is that going to cost me out of pocket? Oh my god. Jordy should stream live from the store. How do you, how do you even get like does Casper have an airport? Pit to Casper, Wyoming. How do I get there? Ugh, they're all connecting flights. Ugh, I couldn't get a non-stop. Yikes. It, they're not that expensive. Like, the flight actually isn't that expensive, though. Thursday. There aren't many flights that go there, though. Why is it doing it like that? March. There we go. What's day of the third? So if I went Monday. Monday through Thursday. How much would that be? What? Holy shit. To get a connecting flight from Pittsburgh to Casper tomorrow, $1,200. Why? What the hell? Oh my God. But in April, it's like $200. Why is it $700? Like if I wanted to do it like a week from today. $700. Wait, the $700 swag bag. Oh my God. Do you think if I paid TSA with a $700 Jeffree Star Cosmetics swag bag, they'd let me on for free? They'd be like, all right, you're, you're good, boss. Don't worry about it. You should go visit. You think they'd recognize, like, he'd recognize me? I would only go if he was there. Like, I wouldn't walk in that store just to walk in that store. Like, you know how sometimes he stands up in the front and live streams? Like, do you think anything would happen if I just walked in the front door? Get him out of here! I can't! I can't! I can't! No, I can't. I hate this still photo. We can change it. Here's this better. Just take a private jet. Do you think the tailor would lend me her private jet to go to Casper, Wyoming? Huh? Same cost to go to Sweden. That's crazy. Um, Pittsburgh actually has really decent flights to LA. Yeah, like, oh my God, I could get a nonstop to LA for $98. Isn't that crazy? Does anyone live in LA that would like wanna house me? Like we could get dinner. Like, my treat. You just need to, like, give me a room for the week. Any LA, any rich LA people in the chat? Mm -hmm. Is it worth the ass beating? 
Jeffrey would not lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Is that a ghost town? Los Angeles? Yes. We can look at restaurants. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. We can drive around to LA and look at restaurants. Me, I live in LA, but I live with people. Why would you go to LA? It sucks. I don't know, it's warm. Now you have to be rich. Right. You can't just be in LA. You have to be rich and live in LA. There's an extra layer to it. He's all talk. You might get a slur thrown your way. <laughs> I know. If I if I got caught a slur in public, I wouldn't expect it to occur at the Jeffree Star Cosmetics store. <laughs> would plan a trip though maybe not to LA I do want to go to San Diego this summer I also have to go to Boston this summer so those are two trips I'm definitely doing Boston and uh, San Diego this summer is an LA zombie land Philadelphia is zombie land oh my god do you guys want to see something real quick I used to watch I don't know why I used to watch these videos but I did um, God, what is that? Oh, Kensington Avenue. I used to watch these videos of Kensington Avenue of Philadelphia. It would just be this car that would drive up and down Kensington Avenue on Philadelphia. And it's just like, here, let me, let me pull it up. Like, this is all it is. It's just videos of this. Of just, like, homeless people. Sometimes they'll walk past people and they'll be like quaking. Like they'll uh they'll just be standing there and they'll be like like rocking back and forth. Are you going to check out the San Diego Zoo? Um uh, maybe. I mean, I I've been to the zoo before. It's not particularly something I would want to do again. Um, but maybe exploiting the homeless, in my opinion. Uh, maybe. Could also make the argument that this raises awareness. Oh, here, here it is. This person in the beanie right here. Yeah, yeah. This, when they do the quaking thing where they like bend over a little bit and then shake. I don't know what causes that. It's like a tremor. This looks like LA. Some are in LA against our will. Trank. Is Trank a drug? Is that like a street name for something? absolutely educational if you don't see it all the time i think it's yeah yeah the first time i saw this i mean it was just like you know when i was in vancouver last summer oh my god the homeless in vancouver it, that was probably the worst i'd ever seen ever um The homeless in Phoenix wasn't that bad when I lived out there. Uh, but then again, like, it's probably difficult to be homeless in Phoenix, you know? Like, especially during, like, the really, really hot months. I mean, that's that's not safe to be outside like that. 
This looks like Santa Monica. It makes you sleep on your feet. Vancouver has it the worst. It was bad. Bad. Seattle homelessness is bad. When I, I mean, just the parts we went to, I didn't see a ton of homeless in Seattle. I mean, I imagine it's there. Maybe I just didn't go to the parts, but oh, wow. The parts that we drove, there were just like, entire roads and blocks just all homeless people it's crazy it's really bad here in phoenix now portland oregon speaking of portland oregon i meant to ask um if y'all ever saw my seattle vlog from last summer um when i went out with haley Haley is a travel nurse and she just uh, took a three month contract down in Portland and she's looking for friends. If anyone wants to hang out, she's like, ask your audience if any of them live in Salem, Oregon. I said, okay, I will. So if you're in Salem, Oregon, you want to hang out with Haley, let me know. It's gotten so bad in Canada. Oh, the dog. This is the first video I've ever seen of Kensington Avenue where someone walks by all of them. Normally in the videos that I used to watch, um, they just, they drove up and down the road and pointed the camera out the window. This would scare the shit out of me if I was on the side of the road and someone was staring at me like this. Well, yeah, they're not violent. As soon as they get violent, I think that someone or the police intervene. But for the most part, the police just ignore them. Is she giving them stuff? Realistically, how long do these people live? I mean, like, how how long is, like, the lifespan? Like, once you get into the... I mean, like, obviously, you can't live like this forever. I mean, five years less. I mean, malnourished, on drugs. You're subject to the elements...
three to five years. Yeah, when you have nothing to lose, you'll do anything. Were you homeless, Samantha? Like, were you living in this kind of condition? Hi, Autumn Joan Hart. I hate knowing some of them are veterans and didn't receive housing due to our sucky government. I have a buddy who, uh, He's maybe like five years out of the Air Force now, and it just seems like the Air Force really messed him up. I feel horrible. I try to help as much as I can. The human body is resilient. I give homeless people gift cards that way they can spend it in one place. I have, yeah, I've heard that like when uh, when you want to give uh, help or aid, um, it's like better to give them a bottle of water or a sandwich than it is to give them ten dollars. Oh, it probably is impossible. Yeah. I mean, to, to, to fight this and get out of this, it's probably next to impossible. I mean, it, it, just, it just seems like if, if, if you ever get to this point, it's like just the point of no return. Lost in Phoenix. Yes, I have seen Lost in Phoenix's videos. Lost in Phoenix has some really... Um, interesting videos he like he he finds homeless people in well, if i'm thinking of the same person he finds people in phoenix and walks up to them and just asks them their life story like how'd you get to this point it's actually really interesting i just remember one time like he puts this like disclaimer on his videos he's like i don't want anybody using this content like this is my content So, like, I'd be afraid to, like, pull it up on the screen and watch one.
Let me let me see if there's something similar we can watch. I yeah, those kind of videos are really um Tales from the Streets. That's it. Today I'm with Jessica Jessica, how old are you? Uh, 17. Jessica, I approached you because um, I saw you out here at the store and basically uh, I saw you asking for money, see if you need help. Uh, I said, if you have you ever heard of Lost in Phoenix? And she said, yeah. you said, yeah, me, I'm Lost in Phoenix. <laughs> so, uh, and, you, and you mean that literally because you're, you're not from Phoenix, but you're here, you've been here and you're out in the streets currently. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, how how did you end up out here in the streets? Um, you know, just like, um, cause like a lot of family problems and stuff, and then I had uh, problems with blues and stuff, so I ended up out here. When did you start using blues? Two years ago, but I was on and off, I'm on and off with it, you know. Blues? Is is that like a like a painkiller? How many do you use per day? I would say at least five, because I can control it, so five per day. You're able to control it? Mm-hmm. At what point do you think you won't be able to control it? That's if I keep going on with it, and you know what I mean? Like, starting from then on now, I feel as though, like, probably later on in time, I won't, I won't, I'll probably get lost if I need. And uh, I also noticed that you are- Pregnant, uh, yeah. You're I'm expecting seven, a baby. Seven months. <laughs> Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch that in the title. You're how many months? Seven. And uh, you're telling me that you've made arrangements to give the baby up for adoption? Yeah, yeah, just for the better, you know? I was like, I know I'm not gonna be able to keep it anyways, but I, I didn't want it in the beginning because I know I'm not ready for it and I don't really have a place for it and stuff. And I never really seen myself with kids and I don't want kids. So. And how does your family feel about your current living situation? Um, they don't really care because I haven't talked to them. I don't speak to them. I don't. I never really got along with them and stuff. So. Okay. And so basically, no mom, no dad, no. My siblings. dad's deported. My mom, she's just in a van doing whatever she's doing, you know, living her life. And my sister, she started her life already. So what does the future look like for you? I wanted to... Yeah. The poor baby. She's too young. I mean, I was 17, 10 years ago, and I just feel like, holy shit. I, I mean, to take care of a kid now, yeah, I could probably, I could probably work that. But I mean, 10 years ago, no, no. Just get this baby out of me, you know, and then I'm gonna go clean, clean, and then I wanna get a job. And then I can get my own, I can go into a shelter and stuff. That's when I want to start. And then I can get my life together. That's how I want to do it. I asked you if you wanted me to take you to a, a treatment center, to a shelter. And you mm -hmm. said you're not ready. You, you want to. I want to wait until the baby. Yeah. You want to wait until the baby is born. And then you're going to give up the baby to the family that you've made arrangements. Then once that is done then you're going to be ready to mm -hmm. start a whole new that life and everything so she's made like a personal deal to give up the baby it doesn't really sound like the arrangement that this girl has made to give her baby up um is to 
you know, I just I, I'm like a little bit worrisome about where that baby goes. Why does she does that make sense to anyone? Like she wants to have the baby and then go to a shelter. I don't I don't get that part. She's waiting to stop doing until she, after giving birth. You don't think she can cope otherwise? Because I'd imagine if you go to a shelter, there's probably like a zero tolerance policy. Hopefully it's a proper adoption. It doesn't really seem that way. I just, I don't want the baby. I'm sorry. I never did want it. But it's not because I didn't love it. It's just because I never wanted kids. My family knows that and everything when I was talking to them and stuff. And like the father of the baby, is that oh. your boyfriend or? No, he's, um, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing his own thing with his mom and stuff. So I just... We're just not together anymore. How many days have you been out here in the streets of Phoenix? Like probably three days, probably four or five. Because I recently just got onto the streets. And like you're living in a tent, you told me. Yeah. On a sidewalk over here. Like, yeah. isn't that scary being 17, pregnant? No, not scary? because um, I have people to look out for me, and I know every like I'm starting to get to know everybody here and everything. And I literally I met somebody called I forgot his name, but we call him OG, and he um he looks out for me. So when it was raining those other days and stuff, there was this person he was trying to sit in the tent and stuff, and I was um literally getting rained on and stuff. And he was like, "Hey, bro, you see she's pregnant? Like he was like, you need to move, like get out the way. He was like, let her sit right there. And just everybody looks out for me because I'm pregnant, you know. So. Everything's been good and stuff, and then I have a person, a girl, she, she comes by sometimes once in a while, and she says, you know, you take a shower and stuff, she takes me over there to go take a shower, so I'm clean and everything, so, and um, when it comes to food and stuff, um, there's people that come by in cars and stuff, and they give us food, so I make sure that my baby is eating and everything, you know? It seems like homeless people either band together and help one another, or they're horrible to each other. Because, I mean, really, like, if you mug another homeless person and steal whatever it is that they have, it's like, what are you going to do? Like, no one no one really monitors this. And, like, the other, the other part that's sad about this is, like, no one takes homeless people seriously. Like, if they were to start yelling or, you know, make a big scene or try to get a cop involved or something, like, people would just roll their eyes and be like, ugh, God, them again. I think she's lying. I kind of get that. I get that vibe too. They're just down and out. I mean, I would probably feel that way as well. Good night, Peyton. I just try to keep up with it. When's the last time you saw like a doctor for your baby? Literally before I got on the streets. Yeah, I was in the I was in the hospital and they had checked the heartbeat and everything. She's she's clean. I had got sober actually and I'm recently just back on it. But um, they checked the heartbeat. They said everything was fine. That she's a nice, healthy baby girl. It's a girl. What's the name of your baby? Isabella. For the, just for the dad, because the dad's name is Isaiah. So we're going to name Isabella, and Isaiah is I-Z-A-Y-A. -A. So they're going to put Isabella with a Z. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so once you're sober, once you're working, what do, what, what, do you think, what do you foresee yourself doing as far as, like, work? I want to probably still be in the baby's life, like, you know what I mean? Not, like, um, with it and stuff, but just to, like, you know, send, they send me pictures and stuff because that's what I want. That's why everybody set up the plan. Oh. 
Well, the, earlier in the video, it kind of seemed like she wanted nothing to do with the baby. Never wanted kids, never wanted to be involved, never wanted to be irresponsible. But I still want to be involved in the baby's life. She's trying to say she seems fine to seem strong. Yeah, this is sad. I don't know if I want to watch this whole thing. It's important to have this kind of real talk. I agree. I agree. They won't detox you while you're pregnant. It could hurt the baby. Really? She looks 13. For. And so hopefully when she turns 18, she can come back to mama. You know, just hopefully. But if she doesn't, then she doesn't. Okay. And why do you think these pills are so popular with the young people? You were Hopefully when my baby's 18, she'll come back to mama. I thought she didn't want the kid at all. I thought she didn't want anything to do with the kid. This is, this is very back and forth. You were 15 when you started blues. Because, um, like, when, when you're on them, they make you happy and they make you forget about all your problems and everything, everything that's going on. Like, you know what I mean? It's because a lot of stuff people that you know, people go through at a young age is because their parents and stuff, and their parents don't understand them. And when they do try to talk to them and stuff, they just shrug them off like they're nothing. So that's what they look for. They look for drugs, and then when they find drugs and there's something that makes them happy, makes them forget, like that's all they want. Yeah. Well, she's not stupid. This video seems off. I'd imagine he gets them to talk to him by offering them money. Like, hey, can we talk for 15 minutes? I'll give you 50 bucks. No. Oh. Um. I would consider watching some of this content. I know that, like, we kind of, like, randomly fell on this, like, off of Chantal. This is kind of, like, a strange concept to uh, move to after watching Chantal scream in her hotel room. But... I don't know. Maybe maybe not here on this channel, but uh, like over on Twitch. Because Twitch is kind of like the experimental stuff. It's like we do a whole lot of interesting other things over on Twitch. Soft white underbelly. How is she not in custody of the state or something? Isn't she a minor? Well, she probably could be in custody of the state, but she doesn't want to be. It just doesn't fit into girl world. No, it does. It doesn't fit into girl world, but I'm not solely interested in only doing girl world content. Uh, I'm down for Rebecca. Who's Rebecca? Rebecca Black?
R B Rebecca Black. Um, rice noodles. I appreciate the super chat again. Being homeless is the worst thing to happen to anyone. She's 17 and we all failed her as a society. No more judging the misfortune of others. Karma. a shitty situation soft way can be confronting what I want to help girls like her well, we definitely need more people like you in the world or people that want to do that. Rebecca is a regular on Softway. Who, who is Softway Underbelly? I mean, I know that like Chantal made fun of that recently or like called Mr. Snowflake that. But other than that, I don't know anything about him. She could be a runaway from the state. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd imagine, like, if a 17-year-old doesn't want to be in custody, they can probably just leave. Like, it's not like the state is going to go out of their way to make sure that they're being helped and monitored and stuff. Oh boy. Oh my God. It's 1 a.m. All right, y'all. I think that that is going to be it for this evening. Really appreciate everyone who hung out tonight, sent in the super chat, became a member, participated in the chat. I appreciate all of you. But we will be back tomorrow. I think for Jeffrey content. I think for Jeffrey content. So we'll do that sometime in the evening and we'll hopefully see y'all back here tomorrow. Hope everyone has a good rest of your Saturday. Well, I guess it's Sunday for East Coast people or people east of the East Coast. So have a good night, everybody. Appreciate it. Twitch? No, 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 no Twitch tonight. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. I, pro I promise, I promise. All right, y'all.